native land true patriot's love in all thy sons command car ton bras se porte le paye il se porte la croix ton histoire est une épopée des plus brillants exploits land glorious and free oh canada we stand on guard for thee oh canada we stand on guard for thee Is it Welcome to Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. We are live from Saskatoon for the bronze medal game of the Football Canada Cup. My name is John Fraser. I'll be happy to provide your play-by-play. -play. And with me is Andre Lalonde, who is a football player here at the University of Saskatchewan. And Andre, the big matchup here coming into this game is going to be the Quebec defense up against that running attack of Alberta, especially their quarterback, Alex Basilis, who can run and throw the ball defensively what's that going to do to a team that they got to worry about all their weapons at wide out plus the quarterback being able to scramble that's right when there's a quarterback that can scramble it makes things a lot more challenging for the defense and so if he gets out of that pocket and gets and gets things rolling it, it's going to be real tough for the Quebec defense now as far as the Quebec team they've got that great secondary what are they going to have to do and how tough it is you're an offensive guy how tough is it when maybe that pass has been shut down when you know that the run is coming I mean, it, it is very challenging, but I mean, uh, you know, the thing you got to do is just persevere through those things. And I know Quebec had a, a tough game against uh, Ontario early on, but uh, it's just a type of thing where you got to grind through all those tough plays. Ont Quebec is here after a loss to Ontario, Alberta after a loss of the host from Saskatchewan. We've got it live for you next. And Quebec has won the toss and elected to take the ball first here as we get ready to go with this bronze medal game of the Football Canada Cup. It will be Alberta kicking off first. Des Catillier, kid's got a huge leg. He's going to be putting it here to start our bronze medal game here. Alberta, Quebec, live from Saskatchewan, and we are underway. It's a deep, booming punt to about the kickoff, rather, to the 15-yard line. No room there for Rochelo. He finds some room, creates it himself, and Rochelo doing a good job creating himself some space and gets up to the 30 there on the short return. Maintenant, on a Quebec qui va commencer avec le ballon, et après Alberta, la batte, et ils vont commencer de la 30 verge. It'll be first and 10 from the Quebec 30 yard line, and starting under center in this game is Zachary Cuivige. Cuivige, originally the backup, but was pulled, the original starter, that is Maxime Buffard, was pulled in the loss to Ontario. Cuivige took over, and he has the rock to Sam McWanda. McWanda's got some room. 
room. He's up to the Alberta 45 yard line. That's where he's brought down on a huge gain on first down. That was a great run by Quebec. That running back had made a big, big move right off the bat and is able to gain a first down. Sam McWanda, a huge part of their running attack, as you see here on the play. Just tons of room up the middle as McWanda makes the first move and gets into secondary. You take a pab to gagner plus que 35 verge. Again, McWanda, this time on the reverse. He's out wide. He's got the edge. He's brought down there, but there's a flag near the 40 yard line. And it looks like it's a gain of nine for Sam McWanda again, but we're going to see what the flag is. Flag on the play. The porter of the ballon is encore Sam McGuanda, but there is a penalty on the joue. As we wait, the call from our official today, Mike Siona. Quebec, number 60, 10 yard penalty, repeat first down. The penalty to Quebec's Vasso Carbrillo. He's from Sherbrooke, and that'll back Quebec up 10 yards. That'll make it first and 20 from the 54 yard line of Alberta. Après une pénalité sur l'équipe de Québec, ils sont maintenant premier et 20 vers Jarlet. Weeby in the gun. He's got three receivers to his right, two off to the left. He's looking to pass this time, needing to make up some yardage. And that is incomplete. That is off the hands of Weeby favorite target, Julian Barrasso. On first down there, Québec was just trying to complete a quick pass and gain some of that yardage they lost after that penalty on first down. Quebec unable to do so there, and it'll be second and 20. The ball on the Alberta 54-yard line here. Guivijay again in the gun, a likely pass coming here. And Alberta's bringing some heat. It's a blitz off the edge, but Guivijay's got a man open, and he can't connect with Francois Rochelot, and that'll bring up third down. Alberta decided to bring the blitz there on second down, and it was a good option as Quebec was unable to complete the pass. Quebec is now on the third and three. And they will bat the ball. And the punting now for Quebec as John Molson steps onto the field. The defensive back also handles the punting duties from Montreal. And Molson has been doing a fantastic job all tournament long. He's had a big leg and he's going to be kicking with some wind here as it is going at his back here at the swirling winds that are Griffith Stadium here in Saskatoon. Molson now from about his 45, a big boot. He's trying to get the angle on it. Looks like he's gonna angle it a little bit too sharply. So we wait to see where this ball is spotted, but it looks like it'll be inside the 30 yard line of Alberta, and that's where they're gonna start. A good job by Molson to limit the return. That's exactly it. He was able to kick it directly out of bounds and uh, eliminate the return from Alberta. Menace va être Alberta avec la balle qui commence par la 26 e verge. A man who almost led a huge comeback against Saskatchewan. Alex Basilis, the quarterback, the biggest part of that. Hands off to Jacob Janke. Janke now, he tries to find the edge, and he's swarmed by three Quebec defenders, including Tyrese Lebeau, easily their most outstanding player in their secondary through two games of this tournament. A little end of the round attempt here by Alberta. They're only able to gain two yards on the play, however. Quebec was ready for that one. Janky one of the game breakers to watch out of that Alberta backfield from Edmonton. Alberta, Basilis now fakes the handoff. He rolls, he f trips and falls down there and that might go down as one of the easier sacks uh, for that Quebec defensive end there. Yeah, unfortunately on that play, he lost his footing, wasn't able to make a move on the defender and uh, it'll be now third down for Alberta. They could say the turf monster got him here as you watch Basilis fake the handoff. He's moving out to his outside and he just slips there and. <laughs> All that uh, Quebec's Yannis Chihat has to do is sit there. Now, you'll see Basilis still on the field. He handles all the punting duties also for his team. And he's got a big leg, but there's a big wind here today in Saskatoon, and it's right in his face, so he's going to need a good one here. Maintenant, Alberta is on their troisième essay, puis ils vont essayer de battre la balle avec Monsieur Basilis qui va battre. Third and 13, still scoreless here in the opening quarter of the Football Canada Cup bronze medal game. There's a nice low kick, and that'll take it all the way back to the returner for Quebec. That's D Philippe Dion. Dion now to the outside. Dion, he gets up near the 40-yard line. Looks like they're going to mark him just inside the 40, and an excellent play there by Dion to create some positive yardage. 
Dion était capable de retourner la balle jusqu'à la 40e verge d'Alberta, puis Québec va maintenant avoir la balle en attaque. About a 20 yard return here for Dion as his team in great field position is Quibi Jace sorting it out at the line. He's got four receivers to his right, one on one to his left. Quibi Jay, he's looking to pass. He looks left. That's where he got him, and he's wrapped up quickly. A nice catch there by Peace to Shimbo Kalamba. And that'll be a nice gain on first down, but still short for Quebec. Quebec a été capable de lancer la balle pour cette balle sur la première essai. The ball calls Montreal home as it's second and three here for Quebec. And Buffard back in for that handoff. And nothing going there. And early on, Andre, it looks like Quebec's going to be using both their quarterbacks as Maxime Buffard took that snap. Yeah, they're going to try and keep Alberta guessing what they're going to be doing on offense. And so far, Alberta's done a good job here. Third and three now from the 30-yard line of Alberta. And looks like Molson's going to attempt the field goal. Yeah, he's got the wind to his back, so hopefully he gets a clean kickoff. And uh, Alberta, I mean, Quebec will try and get on the board here first. This looks like it will be about a 36 or 37-yard field goal attempt for John Molson. Ball's down. Molson, there's the big lag. He is through, it's 37 yards, and Quebec is on the board, 3-0, a great boot by Molson. Molson is capable to put a placement of 37 yards, and Quebec has now three points. And Al Al Alberta now trails 3-0, they are going to take the ball at their 35-yard line. What a great kick by John Molson, though, Andre. I mean, this guy's been putting his team in great field position the entire tournament, and right there nails a 37-yarder rare at this level. Yeah, I mean, after a great punt that pinned Alberta deep, he was able to come up with a clutch 37-yard kick. It was an impressive boot. Alberta now from their 35-yard line will hand off to Brown, and Brown can just make it back to the original line of scrimmage. He had a great game against Saskatchewan, but so far, this Quebec defensive line, we talked about their secondary pregame, but it's been the defensive line that's kept things in check. Sur le jeu, la, la défense de Québec est capable de garder le porteur de ballon à zéro verge. C'est la deuxième essai pour la Barta. Basilis back to pass, looking to his left on second down, and he's got more pressure in his face. Doesn't see the pressure coming, and that'll be a sack for Team Quebec. And it's going to be a loss of a couple here for Alberta. Basilis is just rolling out here on the play, trying to create something. There was just nothing there. He was buying as much time as he could, but the Quebec off. defenders were barreling down, and they were able to bring him down for the sack. So you watch here, Basilis, he drops back originally, has nothing downfield. The pump fake doesn't make the defensive ends bite, and he's got about two guys all over him. Again, that was Yanish Shulhat, the defender from Terrebonne, Quebec, and he'll come up with the sack as Basilis now will have to punt the ball away. Basilis maintenant va botter la balle sur le troisième essai pour l'Alberta. Ils sont à leur trois, trentième verge. Again, another low end over end kick, and this will go to Francois Rochelot. Rochelot making a move in his own 40, looking for some space. Gets up to his 45, and that's where he's wrapped up. A nice job there, though, by Rochelot as he had to back up on that punt return. That yeah, was an impressive catch on the play, and uh, you know all you got to do is uh, plant your feet and get as many yards as you can. But uh, the Alberta defenders were on him quick and uh, able to maintain it to just a couple yard return. So it will be first and 10, Quebec taking over at their 45 yard line, Quibige, he's back in under center. Formation he used a lot in the Ontario game. There's the handoff there, that'll be Francois Rochelot. Rochelot now got the edge, he's got some space. And he breaks one tackle and Rochelot's brought down on the Alberta side of center and he'll have a first yeah, down there. Like he did a good Number job six. with French a nice little Rochelle stiff arm on Alberta's Tony Savchuk. He's still a jeu, but now Quebec with the ball. So the first essay, they gave the ball and they were capable to win 12 Vels and now they have another first essay. BBJ now in the gun again. He's got three receivers to his left, two to his right. And he's going to give the handoff this time to Sam McWanna. McWanna makes a move at the line, nearly springs it 
but a nice job there as you watch Cody Ouijan, the defensive back, come up and stop McWanda. Yeah, before McWanda was able to get going, the defenders were there on him quick and uh, able to maintain that to just a six yard gain and uh, now it makes it a little bit tough for them on second down. Watch here, McWanda thinks he has a hole there and he's quickly wrapped up by the Alberta secondary and a good job there for limiting the gain. It will be second and four. Kubijay working on the gun again. Fakes the handoff to McWanda, finds Rochelot up the middle and a nice pass and catch. That'll be another first down for Quebec. Quebec yeah. oh, est capable de lancer sur leur deuxième essai et est capable de gagner un uh, premier essai après. Ils sont maintenant sur le 35e Velge d'Alberta. Quebec now discussing the play after the nice catch there by Francois Rochelot, who early on is the favorite target of Zachary Quivigier. Sends his guys in motion. Quivigier fakes the hand up to McWanda. He's going deep. He's got a man open, just overthrows. Matthew Blanchet, and it'll be second and 10. Blanchet was able to get behind the defender there, but uh, unfortunately oh, just please. missed him. Just uh, about two inches here was about the difference there. Otherwise, Quebec would have had the opening major of the football game. 3 nothing. they do lead. 5.43 left in our first quarter here. Quibiget back to pass. He's pressured now, but Quibiget can run. He tucks it down. He's got first down yardage as he finds the edge, and that'll be a first down run. A nice job of creating, but it looked like there was nothing. Yeah, Quibiget dropped back, and uh, didn't see anybody open, so he rolled out and uh, was able to gain the first down with his legs. It was an impressive job also by the receivers downfield blocking. As you can see, uh, the fan support here at Griffith Stadium in Saskatoon has been outstanding all week, and no surprise again. And, and considering these are two teams that are traveling, a lot of fans in the stands, so glad to have them out here as the play resumes. There's a handoff to McWanna. McWanna now on the left side. He's got some space. Touchdown, Quebec! Sam McWanna, 20 yards. He marches in, and it will be 9-0 Quebec. Sam McGuana de Quebec est capable de porter la ballon du 20e Velge pour un toucher. C'est maintenant 9 à 0 pour Quebec. Quebec is fired up there, as you can see. Quibijay returning to his sideline there. High five and everybody is McGuana, who's been establishing the run game here for Quebec early on. These guys are three-time defending champions and are in the bronze medal game today, but a great job there by Sam McWanda to bust that one in from 20 yards as we await the convert here. And no surprise, John Molson obviously handing the, the kicking duties for Quebec. Snap is down and it'll be through. It'll be 10-0 Quebec here early on and Andre You've probably been in a couple 10 nothing holes in your football playing days. Uh, what's the message on the sidelines right now? I mean, the guys just got to stay positive on the Alberta sideline. I know that, uh, I know it looks a little gleamy now that it's 10 nothing, but I mean, that it's the game's only not even 10 minutes old. So I mean, they, they got to know that it's a long game and uh, just one play will turn this thing around. 521 left in our first quarter here as you're watching the Football Canada Cup bronze medal game live from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Quebec with an early 10-0 lead, and how about the performance there of the man we see right now, Sam McGuana, he's back on the sidelines getting hydrated after he's really established that run game for Quebec. Yes, he has, and he definitely deserves that drink of water, and after a couple impressive runs and that long 20-yard touchdown run, he puts up Quebec 10-0. Here is the touchdown run. You can see McGuana making a couple moves, shedding a couple tackles. He looked like he was covered in Vaseline there as a couple tackles slipped right off of him as he runs in for the six points. Après la transformation, Québec a maintenant un 10 à 0 avantage. Big smiles from Sam McGuana there on the sideline as Quebec has jumped out to an early 10-0 lead. As I mentioned before, Quebec coming into this tournament was the three-time defending national champions at the Football Canada Cup. And they're in the bronze medal game. And you know, they don't want to travel all this way from Quebec to Saskatoon to leave empty-handed. Yeah, a team like Quebec that's won three times in a row, they definitely have a lot of a lot of poise in that coaching staff, so I know that they're they're not gonna let off even though they got this early lead. Molson with the wind and a huge kick that goes into the end zone. It'll be returned by Miles Brown. Brown out to his right. Brown now able to that's a real good job of gaining some positive yardage with the Quebec special teams unit bearing down on him as it looks like Brown was able to get it out to just inside his 30-yard line. Après une très bonne botte de 
Québec. Le retourneur d'Alberta était capable de mener la balle jusqu'à la 25e verge. Et maintenant, Alberta va commencer avec la balle en attaquant. Ils marquent them. First and 10, looks like at about the Alberta 25-yard line here is Alberta, their dangerous offense. It took them a while against going against Saskatchewan as they trailed at one point in that game, 40 to 14, but brought it back to 40 to 32. There's a flag on the play here as we watch Brown run off to the right edge for a gain of uh, one, maybe two yards. Yeah, after a game on Wednesday against Saskatchewan, Alberta is definitely not gonna be too nervous about this 10-0 hole, I know that uh, after an experience like that, even though they came up short at the end, they uh, were able to battle back after a huge hole they dug themselves. It's an offside on Quebec, so Alberta naturally will accept that and move up, and that'll bring up first and five as they'll move up to the 30-yard line. Après une pénalité sur Quebec. Quebec, number one, five-yard penalty, repeat first down. Après la pénalité, maintenant Alberta va voir premier essai et cinq verges allées. The call on Jeremy Dominic of Quebec. He's a hard-hitting defensive back. This guy is another one of those stars in that secondary here. So far, he's done a good job of limiting the Alberta passing attack as Bass is back to pass. To his right, he's got a man open, and a good battle there is won by the receiver, Trey Kellogg, and Kellogg comes down with it. It's an interception! Sorry, we gotta watch the replay here, as it is an interception by that dangerous Quebec secondary. Looks as though they are going to have the ball on their side of the field. I thought Kellogg came down with it, Andre. You had to correct me up here in the booth. Yeah, it was tough to see who got their hands on it. They were both fighting for it, and uh, Quebec was able to, to haul it in. It is Jeremy Dominique. So we see Kellogg makes the catch. Dominique just rips it out of his hands for the interception. And I mentioned he's hard hitting, but he's got some uh, strong hands too. Jeremy Dominique with the interception. And I'll bring up first and 10 for Quebec as they scrimmage from their side of the field to reverse to Francois Rochelot. And Rochelot with some positive yardage on first down. Après une longue assez de Alberta avec une lancée et une interception par Québec, ils ont maintenant la balle. Après, une, après la première essai, ils ont gagné cinq verges, alors c'est deuxième essai et cinq verges allées pour Québec. Second and five for Quebec. They're going to take over on their own 54 after the huge interception by Jeremy Dominique. He's been great for them the entire tournament. About four minutes left here in the bronze medal game, the first quarter of the bronze medal game as Quibiget drops back, finds a man open, and that should be a first down. They're gonna mark him down at the spot of first contact, and that was Ben Pasiak with the catch over the middle, and a dangerous spot, as you know, Andre, for receivers to hang out is over the middle. Yeah, good for Pasiak going into the middle and uh, getting those tough yards. He was able to uh, get enough of the first down, and uh, Quebec is starting to get things going again. Alberta on their heels, down 10-0 to Quebec in the bronze medal game of the Football Canada Cup. Another handoff there to Rochelot, and Rochelot gains about two yards there on first down. Quebec encore ce premier essai de la 50e verge de Alberta. Ce premier essai, il essaie de porter la balle. Il gagne seulement deux verges et seulement deuxième essai et huit verges allées pour Quebec. Second and eight, Quebec, is they're going to take it on the Alberta 47-yard line here as they have the lead 10-0. Three minutes left in our first quarter, and looks like we're going to see a procedure call on Quebec, or could be offside. Somebody jumped at the line first. We're just waiting to see what the call is here from our official Mike Siona. Yes, it is Alberta. He will call it on. Looks like that was one of the members offside. of the defensive line. Alberta, number 95. Five-yard penalty. In second down. Tamil Fouad jumps offside, and that'll give Quebec some free yardage, bringing up a second and three here. As you can take a look here, as Quibijay, good job of doing the hard count, and he does make contact with the offensive line, making it an automatic call and giving Quebec some free yardage at a time that Alberta doesn't want to be doing that. Maxime Bouffard now in under center. Is, he'll fake the handoff and he'll keep it himself. Looks like he's got the first down. As Bouffard calls the quarterback keeper, and he's got, should be a first down here. Yes, they are going to mark that as a first down. Bouffard is now in the jerk as a He is capable to win a premier essay. It is now the premier essay of the 36th verge of Alberta for Quebec. Quivigé back in as it is a passing situation. It's Quebec's been rotating both their quarterbacks in, and it'll be Sam McWan. He's already got one touchdown in this game, and he's not going to gain much. It's a nice job there by the defender, Ivan Boychuk. 
as he's brought down. It'll be about a gain of one. Yeah, McGuana wasn't able to, to bust off another run on that one. Uh, Alberta's defense is, is starting to realize where, where that ball is going, especially on first down. And a great job there by the Alberta defense. They've got to get something going, create some momentum for their football team. They trail 10-0 here late first quarter as Guibaje empties out the backfield and he's got Rochelo over the middle. And we're just waiting to see where this one's spotted, but it does look like it's another first down for Quebec. If not, it's going to be real close. Une très, une très belle réception par Québec. Il va être très proche à gagner une autre première essai. And so far, Francois Rochelo, he's been doing a lot for Quebec as he's had the ability to not only run the ball, but he also catches it out of the backfield. And you can hear some of the audio here from our field mic that it's going to be about half a yard short is where they've spotted it. That will be decision time. The way Quebec's rolling right now, I wouldn't be surprised if they go for it here on third down. Well, neither would I. It looks like that is the plan as they brought in Maxime Buffard, who started this tournament as their starting quarterback, but is now being used primarily to mix up the run game as we get a real nice look here. That, yeah, Quebec's going to be just a couple chain link shorts, and Andre, you're a big running back. Do you want the ball here, or do you, or do you think the quarterback sneaks the way to go? Well, I know that offensive coordinators tend to lean toward that quarterback sneak, but obviously as a running back, you want that ball in those kind of uh, excuse me, those type of situations. And Buffard will looks like he's not even going to go back under center. He is going to set up in the gun. Surprising a little bit, only because you're snapping the ball about four yards back before you do anything with it. Here, it's, it's third and half a yard for Quebec. Buffard now makes a move. Tries to get behind the left side of his offensive line, and it's going to be close. All depends on the spot. Quebec's got to get up to the 25-yard line. See our officials mark it. The nose of the ball just laying on said 25-yard line. A play by Buffard out of the gun seemed, to, seemed like they just could, could have leaned forward, but they do gain the first down here. As, they spot him at the 25. Quibijay now back in under centers. He's going to roll out. He's looking for somebody to pass to. He had some Alberta pressure right in his face. Dexter Da Silva, the defensive player of the game for Alberta in their last game, and uh, incomplete pass to McWanda. Yeah, Quebec on first down again. They're trying to get the ball to McWanda. Unable to, to get him on the play, but uh, it's, you know, they're, they're trying to throw it to him. They're obviously, they're running the ball very well with him, so they just they got to get the ball in his hands and uh, let him make plays. Second and 10. Just over a minute left here in our first quarter bronze medal game, Football Canada Cup. Quibijay now looking to his left, and he's got a man open. He's got the sideline. Touchdown, Quebec. That'll be Ben Pasiak. He's got the touchdown catch. 16-0, Quebec, and they're on a roll. Ben Pasiak, avec a defense episode de 25 heures, j'ai capable de gagner un touché sur le jeu. C'est maintenant 16 à 0 pour Quebec. Another six points for Quebec and just like in their game against Saskatchewan Andre Alberta has gone down early and gone down often what do they need to do here in their next possession to stop this Quebec landslide well I think before they even get to that once they get the ball here on offense they got to create some type of momentum yep. they got to get some first downs to get their defense a bit of a rest because Quebec is just rolling over them right now and that was actually Matthew Blanchette with the catch there as we had a little mix up here on our rosters as Blanchette with the touchdown pass. And we apologize to the Blanchette family. As it's a sunny day here in Saskatoon. And I'm a little blind, as you can see, already wearing glasses, Andre. It's, uh, there might be a couple of those. Don't be afraid to jump in and correct me here. Correction, c'était Mathieu Blanchette sur la réception. Et maintenant, après, c'est 17 à 0 pour Québec. Here in Saskatoon, another stadium is undergoing revitalization. As the point after is through and good, forward, no surprise there. Again, it's John Molson. As we watch the replay here for Blanchette, Quivige, not a lot of pressure on him. A good job by his offensive line finding Blanchette out to his left in a quick pass and easily runs that into the end zone. Yeah, Quebec's just making things a little easy right now. It's pretty easy to run into the end zone when there's nobody within about two or three yards of you there. And again, Alberta having some issues with their tackling as another hand just slips off a of Blanchette there on that touchdown catch. Yeah, Alberta's going to want to tighten those types of things up if they're going to want to have a chance in this game. 
Olsen will kick it off. And as you can see, a little windy here in Saskatoon as that ball is off the tee twice. And he is going to maybe recruit the help of a, of a holder for the kickoff. Yep, he's going to do that. Windy day in Saskatoon, something you've dealt with a time or two here, Andre. Yeah, these wins in Saskatchewan can be pretty rough, but uh, Quebec has been able to use that win in this first quarter, built up this big lead. So now that we're nearing the end of the first and Alberta will have the win in the second, hopefully they can uh, get things rolling with the win behind them. And that's what they did in their game against Saskatchewan where they lost, and that's another big boot, and they'll kick it right to Brown, and Brown fumbles at his goal line. He picks it back up, and he's up to about the 20. Again, a nice job by Brown on the return despite the fumble when he originally caught the ball. Brown sur le retour après le bot par Québec est capable de ramener le ballon jusqu'à la 22e verge d'Alberta. Ils sont maintenant sur la 22e verge avec premier essai Alberta. And they mark him down at the 22-yard line, so it's going to be first and 10 from the 22. And we've got some of our players to watch. Obviously leading that list for Team Alberta is Alex Basilis, the quarterback. He's done a great job. Tristan Getzinger, the running back. Jacob Janke, Kenton Bailey, dangerous receivers for Alberta. You take a quick look at some of those names. And that is one of those dangerous weapons there that Basilis gets the pass out to as they try something a little different. And he gets it out to Sam Clayton on the screen pass. As we take a look at some more of those big names, some of the defensive players to watch so far. I would I would almost add Andre a couple more to that list as Jeremy Dominic's play so far in this tournament has been outstanding, along with Tyrese Lebeau for Quebec on defense. And Basilis now, he short pass to Brown, and Brown's got first down yardage. He's got some more. He's up near the 50, and that's where he's forced out of bounds to the Quebec sideline. And Alberta now getting something going here with some short passes. That's it. They're getting. They're getting Basilis moving the ball quickly. Instead of him rolling out all the time and uh, you know things haven't been working all that well, so they just got these quick passes, these quick hitters that are high percentage passes and let, letting their receivers make plays after the catch. As you watch here, Basilis, another quick pass in the backfield as they've done a similar play going back to back here to Miles Brown out of Calgary. A little bit of commotion there as it looks like the snap was fumbled. They try to run the quick quarterback draw and they get up uh, about three yards three here. Yards. And second, and six. second and six is what they're going to call it. Après une longue réception par Brown, Alberta la balle sur la ligne centre et son deuxième essai avec six verges allées. Basilis now sending his guys in motion. He's got three to his left. Basilis now tipped at the line, and that'll fall harmlessly, although there was a couple Quebec that. defenders nearby. That could have been a pick there, Andre. Yeah, they were fortunate enough that the ball found some green right, grass because there was a lot of Quebec defenders in the area. 17-0 Quebec leads. As we do have a penalty, so unless this is a decline, I'll bring up the end. As it looks like it is going to be roughing the passers. Basilis had that ball out. Yeah, Quebec, he was hit 14. by Quebec's number 14, Adam Andrews, the defensive four. lineman. And just you just got to be smarter than that, Andre. Yeah, I mean, Quebec, with the way things have been going for them so far, they can't be taking penalties like that. Helping out Alberta and keeping their drive going. And they are going to mark that the end of our first quarter. And after one, Andre Lalonde, John Fraser with you on your play-by-play. -play. Quebec leads 17 to nothing. What has Alberta got to do, Andre? I mean, their offense has got to get things rolling, but this high-powered attack by Quebec is looking tough to stop right now. Well, Quebec's high-powered attack, and right now they're doing a fantastic job of taking away the first read for Alex Basilis. He's got really nowhere to go. We talked a little bit about Quebec's secondary in the opener, and they've lived up to their billing. Yeah, they've definitely been coming hard at Basilis. He's had a tough time finding guys so far. And now Brown there with the short gain on first down as Alberta now actually, although their offensive struggles in the first half, have a bit of a drive going here. As Miles Brown with a gain of about three yards. And Quebec's discipline, something that haunted them a little bit in the game against Ontario. De definitely something they're going to keep in check here. Alberta, after the commencement of the second quarter, they are on the 37th verge of Quebec, on the second essay. Vasilis with another swing pass to Brown, and Brown up in to the second wave of Quebec defenders, and again, using that screen pass uh, effectively here, but he may be short of the first down. Yeah, it's pretty obvious who the ball is going to with Alberta. They've been giving it to Brown here the last little while. Things have been working for him. Unfortunately, they're just a little bit short here on third down, but uh, no surprise, they'll be going for it. They are going for it, trailing 17-0 with 11 minutes left in our second quarter. It is third and one. 
Basilis takes it straight ahead. Looks like he went under the pile rather than kind of behind his hogs, and we're going to wait to see where they mark this. A more conventional look here by Alberta with the quarterback sneak here on third and short. You can see on your screen now as Basilis ends up under the pile, but he does gain enough yardage. He gains his yard in half, and it will be first down Alberta from the 29-yard line of Quebec. Alberta is now on the first side of the 29th Quebec. Quebec. Basilis in the gun, drops the snap, and he's got Quebec defenders all over him. And it is going to be a sack for Quebec. Looks like it'll be Keen Harilmanea of Laval with the sack, as he was the uh, last one standing. But there is a flag on the far side of the field. Just an unfortunate play here for Basilis in the Alberta offense. And now we watch again, Basilis, what got him in trouble was Alberta, the fumble of that snap. And there that you can see flag. the defender, the Keen Harilma, come in and wrap up Basilis. And <laughs> he's a little sack celebration saying he's eating a sack lunch there on Basilis. And second and 23 is what Alberta is now facing. It's the second and 23 for Alberta after having lost 13 verges in the first essay. Vasilis has a man open over the middle. It's Clayton. Can he get up to the first down here? He does. He breaks a tackle. And a great job there. The second effort by number 88, Sam Clayton for Alberta. And it looks like a first down. Oh, just an incredible effort by Clayton on that play. I mean, that it was a great pass by Basilis, but they were, they were a few yards short of the first down when he caught the ball, but he broke a couple tackles and managed to reach for that first down. Après une longue réception par Sam Clayton, numéro 98 pour Alberta. C'est maintenant le premier essai pour Alberta. And you can see there as Clayton catches the ball and survives initial contact and just rumbles forward for the yardage that he needed here. And at an important time, they are going to bring out the chains and we are going to have a measurement on the field. Quebec leading Alberta 17-0 here in the second quarter of the Football Canada Cup bronze medal game. And looks like Alberta's got it after the extra effort by Sam Clayton. A great job of just keeping those legs churning. That's, that's exactly it, John. He, he caught the ball. There's defenders all over him, but he was able to break those tackles, just keep those feet churning. Uh, just got enough for that first down. Alberta's got things rolling now. Alberta now with the win. It seems as though the wind, although they've been on the ground, has almost been the confidence booster that Alberta needed to get back into this game as it was all Quebec early. Alberta is now on the 20th verge of Quebec, the first essay. The first and 10 from the 19 yard line is Basilis hands off to Brown. And Brown with the spin move there, but again, that was sniffed out by a trio of Quebec defenders. and. Should be a short gain here on first down as they're down near the Quebec goal line. Looks like it's going to bring up second and seven. I think Quebec knew where the ball is going on first down or where it has been going so far this afternoon for Alberta. Brown, Brown was able to make a couple of moves, but uh, only a short gain on the play. Basilis directly under center here, second and seven. And he fakes the handoff to Brown, but he's got somebody who's face back to Brown, and he's got the reception. He's out near the goal and he's going to be pushed out of bounds there. And a near sack turns into a great play by Alberta's Miles Brown. A lancé, just going to have a 33. Brown for Alberta. A belle reception, he's capable to win the Vels for a first essay. They are now on the second Vels to Quebec with their first opportunity to have the points this afternoon. And now they're sorting things out here. And we first in goal from the four yard line here. Alberta making a late change as the play is whistled in. Vasilis now back looking to pass and a good job there on the knockdown by Quebec. That's number 50, Shad Oyette, one of the players to watch that we saw on the board earlier as Oyette jumps up and bats down that pass. Yeah, he was right in the face of Bassus on that play, and I think it was fortunate that he was because Brown was open coming out of the backfield and put out an easy touchdown. Sold out for the pass knockdown, and he got it. That was a hero or goat play. As it's second and goal now from the four yard line, Bassus again looking to pass. Got Quebec defenders in his face. We wait the signal here. There's a flag at the rear of the end zone here. It looks like that's going to be marked as incomplete. 
Incomplete. That is incomplete, and the, it looks like the flag will likely be for pass interference at the back of the end zone. Pass interference. Quebec, number 17. By rule, the ball will be placed on the one-yard line. First down. First and goal from the one-yard line. Alberta's going to have three cracks at putting this ball in as there is a Quebec player down. That is Tyree Lebeau. As he hurt his shoulder in the semifinal loss. Après une pénalité sur Québec, le batteur va voir la balle sur le premier verge, sur le premier essai. And you see it there on your screen. It looks like the Quebec defender just jumped in a few, that half second too early, Andre, and created the uh, the foul. That was Denver Corzol of Quebec with the, uh, he was called for the penalty. And that's one of those plays, a half second later, he's an all-star, half second too early. It's first and goal or from the one yard line. That's exactly it. It's a game of inches, and uh, unfortunately, on that one, he was the, the victim. But uh, Alberta, Alberta's got things going now, and hopefully, they can finish this off and get things going for uh, their team. Three cracks from the one yard line. No surprise. Basilis under center, and he's got the touchdown. It's a touchdown for Alberta. Alex Basilis, the star quarterback, gets into the end zone, and it's 17 to 6. Le corps arrière, Alex Basilis, est capable d'avoir le toucher. Sur, il porte la balle lui-même pour le toucher. Alors, Alberta mène à 6 points. Il perd 17 à 6 avec le placement pour venir. Basilis, there, they did, uh, Quebec did a good job of getting through. He survives the initial contact, a little spin move, and gets behind his offensive line on the right hand side. And I'll cut into this Quebec lead at 17 to 6, 8 18 left. Alberta's, that's Catillier, puts it right through the uprights. And it'll be 17 to seven as we take a second look here at the touchdown. You can see Basilis survives the initial contact, a nice little spin move to the outside, and he's in pretty much untouched on that right-hand side for the touchdown. Quebec had a good surge on the play, but Basilis was able to feel things out and able to spin off the tacklers and uh, walk into the end zone. So Alberta now got things going, and. Uh, Maybe it was that win factor, I'm not sure, but uh, this second quarter has been a little bit different so far, and uh, you know things are getting a little bit more interesting. Whatever it was, Alberta has looked like a completely different team in this second quarter. A good job of getting Miles Brown more involved, uh, Andre, as they use some quick screens and some quick passes to make sure that the star running back from Alberta had the ball in his hands as the run just wasn't working for him. That's exactly it. They've just been finding different ways to get the ball to Brown, and uh, he's been making things happen. As they've done all week, the returners for Quebec, Vincent Forbes Montbleau and Francois Rochelot. That will be Sam Cotillier again, the, uh, the wind wreaking havoc with the football here, as he tries to, he'll take a second attempt to tee it up. Après, après le succès du placement par Alberta, ils sont maintenant, ils perdent seulement 17 à 7 avec le bot à venir pour Alberta. Catillier, a big boot, that'll force Rochelot back into his own end zone, and Rochelot now looking for some room. Alberta special teams is on him quickly, and they'll bring him down at inside. Looks like they're going to mark him forward progress at the 20. A good job by Rochelot. Looks like it was uh, Janky in the first man on that tackle. Après le bot et le retour de Québec, ils vont avoir la balle sur le 20 e verge avec premier essai. Quebec now looking to see if they can respond and maybe stop some of this Alberta momentum as they're going to take over first and 10 on their own 20 yard line, leading 17 to 7. Zachary Cuivige in the gun. Cuivige now back to pass, looking to his right. He's got some time, finds a man over the middle, and once again, that's Mathieu Blanchette. Blanchette now up past the first down markers. He's all the way up near his 35 yard line. Nice catch and run by Blanchette. The reception on the jeu by Mathieu Blanchette, numéro 88, 80, excusez-moi. Et maintenant, ça va être premier essai pour Québec. Cuivier doing a good job of standing in and connecting with Blanchette, who just made some room for himself over the middle and survived some contact there to gain the extra yardage. A good job there by Joshua Quarles for Alberta there. And again, it's, this will be Sam McWanda. McWanda now, there is a flag that goes up in the air. McWanda, as he did so effectively in the first quarter, ripping off a huge gain on first down. And after a nice response by Alberta, Quebec has come back and they've gone back to their main guys in Blanchette and McWanda, and we'll see what the penalty is here. 
It was right near the line of scrimmage. As we watch Mike Siona, our official. After yards gained, holding. Quebec, number 16. 10 yard penalty, first and 10. And we're going to take a look here at the penalty. This is after he's got some of the yardage, and there it's quite obvious that the jersey is nearly being pulled off that Alberta defender. One of the easier calls our officiating crew will have to make today. Yeah, I don't think there was any doubt about that one. Uh, he was just trying to try to create as much room as he could for his teammate, but uh, you got to stay within the rules of the game. <laughs> that will bring up the first down, though, as Naguana had already gained the first down by the time the jersey was tugged. And it'll be first and 10 Quebec at their own 38. And again, it's over to Sam McGuana, this time looking for the right side. A great job there by Alberta's number 52, Bobby Sugai. One of their players to watch on defense they've been telling us the entire week as he wraps up McGuana for nearly no game. Sur le jeu, Sam McGuana, numéro 4 pour Quebec avec la balle. Mais une bonne défense par Alberta. Il a perdu une verge sur l'assé. C'est maintenant. Deuxième essai et onze vergelés pour Québec. Sugai doing a good job even after getting cut blocked here and it looks like Alberta has jumped offside. A good job of using the hard count by the quarterback Zachary Quibige and that'll give Quebec five free yards and make the second down a lot more manageable. Yeah, it was good work by Quibige on that play. Offside, Alberta, number 95. Five yard penalty, repeat second down. Turned a second and 11 to a second and six, much more manageable for the Quebec offense. Second and four is what they've got up on the board there. As I guess he must have gained a, a yard there. McGuana must have had the gain of a yard, but either way, Zachary Quivige, two receivers to his left, three to his right, drops back. He's looking to pass, he's looking left. He's got a man deep. That's Rochelot, complete to the 40 yard line. And Quebec doing a good job of responding after the Alberta touchdown. Rolls on the reception, a big bomb here by Quebec, and that's exactly it. Even, even with the wind in their face, they're able to throw the ball deep. Good job here by Guivaget, who's got great arm strength to just settle in under that one, throw it up as he had Francois Rochelot open. A good job there, Rochelot with the defender all over him, brings it down inside the 40. We go back to Guivaget now under pressure. A nice job there, Bobby Sugai with the pass knockdown, and Alberta able to respond after the huge gain by Rochelot, and it'll be second and 10 from the 39 yard line of Alberta. Après une longue réception par numéro 6, Rochelot par Québec. Quebec a la balle, la balle sur la 40e verge d'Alberta. Et après une incomplétion sur le premier essai, ils ont deuxième essai et 10 verges allées maintenant. Quibige is in the gun from the 39 yard line of Alberta, looking to pass again as he sends McWanda to his left. He's got Rochelo open. Can Rochelo gain the yardage? No, he can't. A nice job there of limiting the damage. Bowen Lewis, the defensive back from Calgary. And it'll bring up third and long for Quebec. He was able to find Rochelle again on second down, but unfortunately swarmed by Alberta tacklers right away. Nice job there by Bowen Lewis, the defensive back from Notre Dame in Calgary of limiting the damage there. And we're going to see what Molson can do into the wind here for Quebec as they're going to be forced to punt as that will bring up third and seven from the 37-yard line. Quebec is now on the third essay. Molson's going to kick it. It'll be about from the Alberta 45 into a strong wind here. Handles the snap well, and he's aiming for the sidelines, but hooks one, and that is going to be a very short punt here for the normally sure-footed J.J. Molson. It was pretty obvious on that play, the, the win factor today. That, that ball just went up into the air, Andre, and just died and got pushed over to the sidelines there. As Molson, with normally such a big leg, runs into some trouble with the gusting winds here at Griffith Stadium. Yeah, wasn't even able to get 10 yards on that punt. That's uh, un unfortunate happening for Quebec, but let's see if Alberta can keep things going here. Alberta scoring the last touchdown after tr falling down 17 to nothing. It's now 17 to seven. Basilis with a handoff to Brown and good first contact there by the Quebec defensive line as Yannis Chillat wraps up Miles Brown and that'll bring up a, looks like they're gonna mark him about, gonna give him about a yard and a half to two yards there. Très court, par Brown sur premier essai. 
pour Alberta. Ils sont maintenant deuxième essai et huit vargelés sur leur, sur leur 35, 35e vague. Basilis in the gun. Three guys to his right, two to his left. He's got a man open over the middle, but he wants to go deep. He can't do it, and he is sacked up. That'll be Julian Melanson is in on the initial contact there, and Basilis maybe trying to do a bit too much there, Andre. Yeah, like on the, on the, the scoring drive, they were, they were quick passes, quick hitters to Brown and, and other receivers on that play. He was dropping back, looking for someone. Uh, nobody was open, though. As you see here, Basilis, he had Janky open over the middle for the short game, but instead it keeps his eyes downfield, and it is Melanson that gets in there on the initial tackle, and brings him down for a major loss. It's going to be third and 20. Alberta punting with the win. Et sur deuxième essai, Alberta a perdu environ 12 verges. C'est maintenant troisième essai et 20 verges allés. Alors ils vont battre la balle à Québec maintenant. Third and 20 from their 23-yard line. Alberta's going to have to unleash a good punt here and get that up into the air. So you watch Basilis, who also handles the punting duties. Basilis now with a big leg and a good punt there, and that's going to be all the way back. That is over the head of Rochelo, and that's going to roll to the 15-yard line where he touches it, and it's loose. The ball is loose. Alberta is on it. Rochelo touched it. The flag comes down, though, here. And I imagine Quebec is going to keep the ball on, on a virtue of a no yards call. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. After a huge boot by Basilis, that win being a factor, but also it land, it got over the returner's head and bounced and bounced all the way down to the 15 yard line. I'm no math major, but that is about an 80 yard punt as we're going to take a second look at the play here near the end as Rochelo inside his own 15 touches it. Alberta does a good job of getting in on it. That was Clayton who was in on it. and. Just, just a little bit too far inside that five-yard halo, and Quebec will keep possession. Après une très longue botte par Basilis, Quebec a maintenant la balle sur la 21e verge, et ils sont premier essai maintenant. C'est encore 17 à 7 pour Quebec, avec 4 minutes restent ici dans la première moitié. An 80-yard punt completely shifts the field position battle here as Quivige has troubles with the handoff there as he tries to go back to Francois Rochelot, who's been so sure-handed this tournament, but all of a sudden has got a case of the Butterfingers. Yeah, that's exactly it. Uh, things, the ball's on the turf again for Quebec, and uh, I'm sure that their, their coaches aren't going to be too impressed with that, and uh, they'll get that figured out pretty quick. You're running back, Andre. I mean, how, how easy is it to start uh, fumbling the ball? That's the thing. As soon as it happens once, it kind of gets in your head, and uh, it plays tricks with you. But uh, once you get a couple of good runs under you, uh, you start feeling better about those things. Quibijé looking to pass, and again, he goes back to Francois Rochelot. And it's three straight drops for the young man, not something you ever want to see. No, that definitely not. He's going to have to take a seat and uh, cool off and uh, get back out there next drive. And now, Quebec is on the troisième essai after having interrupted their lance. So they have 12 verges and they will beat the ball now to Alberta. After looking like they were going to have great field position after the punt, the booming leg of Basilis has backed them up, and that'll be third and 12 from their own 19-yard line into a fierce wind here at Griffith Stadium. The Alberta returners are set up near the center stripe as John Molson back to punt, and Molson lets it go. This time a much better kick, but it, we do have a whistle here in the play. It looks as though it did go out of bounds before... Molson perhaps wanted to, and Alberta again is going to have fantastic field position to start this drive. Yeah, Alberta after a huge, that huge boot by Basilis kind of turned this whole field position battle, and now they're going to have the ball at the 35-yard line of Quebec, and uh, it's a great opportunity for Alberta to you know, cut into this lead again. Molson having troubles with the win today as, the, as he's not even able to gain 20 yards on, on that punt. And now Basilis looking to lead his offense closer. Basilis on the right-hand side. That one is nearly intercepted. Derek Ashimapong nearly comes down with that ball. And a great job there by the Alberta receiver, Kelton Bailey, to knock it out of the Quebec defender's hands. And après, après une, une short une très, très petite bout par uh, Québec. Alberta a la balle sur la 35e verge et après une incompletion sur le premier essai, ils sont deuxième essai et 10 maintenant. I don't know if he intended to, but a nice play there by Bailey. 
keeping this one in Alberta's hands as Basilis back to pass. Looking for somebody to pass two. He finds Brown with the short pass on the right-hand side, and Brown now rumbles forward. And he's going to be close to first down yardage, but Alberta's going to have a decision to make here on third down. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what they do here. It looks like they're bringing out the kicking team, and uh, also a good idea. They got the wind in their back, so I mean, it's going to be a, an easier attempt than kicking into the wind, but uh, any, any kind of points right now is a, a good thing for Alberta. Again, Miles Brown with positive yardage on another play that looked like it could have been trouble as Des Catillier will attempt this kick. Timeout for Quebec here as they were trying to figure out their personnel. Does this maybe give Alberta some time to think about going for it, Andre? That's exactly it. They, they do have time to think about it now, but uh, I'm, th I'm thinking they're probably going to stick with it. And it's uh, two, almost three yards to go. And uh, I mean, they've they got to be happy just to cut, to cut in that lead. Uh, they're going to be, with, if they are successful with their kick, they're going to be within a touchdown. And uh, it's, uh, it's still a, a long ways to go in this game. 2.51 left in our second quarter here at the Football Canada Cup. As you take a look at the Team Alberta supporters who would love to see Des Catillier be able to split the uprights here on this field goal attempt. It looks like Catillier is going to nearly need to boot this from the 36-yard line. Molson was good for Quebec on a 37-yard attempt, and it might be a ca case of anything you can do, I can do better. So we watch Cantillier get ready to attempt to boot this one through the uprights. Got good lag on it, and it's good. Des Cantillier from 36 yards. It is 17 to 10 as Alberta now in the second quarter, 10 unanswered points to cut into that Quebec lead. Le placement est su, et, uh, du uh, Descatelier par Alberta est bon et c'est maintenant 17 à 10 pour Québec. Maintenant, il y a 2 minutes et 46 secondes pour aller dans le premier moitié. Amazing what a little bit of change in momentum. I mean, how much momentum did Alberta gain off that a giant punt off the foot of Basilis that completely changed the field position game here, Andre? Yeah, the play, the play previous to that, there was a long loss by Basilis, but he came back with that monstrous boot and just changed his game around. Quebec now working into the wind is going to elect to take the ball at their 35-yard line. And again, QBG now, he's, he hands off to McWana. McWana's got a hole. He's up into the secondary, near the 50, a stiff arm. And McWana will be forced out of bounds at the Alberta 51-yard line. An excellent job there by Sam McWanda. Sur premier essai du 35e verge pour Québec, Sam McWanda, numéro 4 pour Québec, le porteur de ballon. Et après environ 25 verges, ils ont réussi un premier essai pour Québec. Great job of the left-hand side there of the Quebec offensive line holding their blocks as McWanda was able to gain some seriously positive yardage on first down and get his team a new set of downs in Alberta territory. And again, it's going to be McWanda. Does a good job making a couple moves at the line and McWanda's got 10 more and another first down for Quebec. Another great run by McWanda, breaking tackles on that play. Last play was more of a big hole this time. It was Sam McGuana making a play himself. Nice job there, too. We should give some serious credit there, as you saw Vasso Carbillo uh, from Sherbrooke on the previous play as uh, he came off his block and helped McGuana gain some positive yardage. And they are going to mark this. Looks like it's going to be just short of the first as we're going to take another look here at the McGuana run. He makes a nice move right there at the line, survives initial contact, keeps his legs going, and he'll be up near first down yardage. And Andre, you're, you're a runner. How hard is it sometimes to uh, survive that first hit? That's the thing. Yeah, you're, you're, you're just getting the ball. You haven't really got your feet going yet. And uh, if you were able to survive that first hit and get your legs moving, you know, you're going to... Get, get some positive yards, and on that play, he was able to, to get those 10 yards and get the first down. They are going to give Quebec the first down after the measurement, and they're just inside the Alberta 40-yard line. They're going to take it to the left hash with Quibuge in the gun. Quibuge now fakes the handoff to McWana. He's got a man open. Francois Rochelot, though, can't hold on as there's great pressure there from Bowen Lewis, the defensive back from Calgary. Après que Sam McWanda est capable de réussir une première essai, Québec est menant sur le 40e verge d'Alberta. Et ce premier essai, il y a une incompétition, alors c'est menant deuxième essai. So we're going to take a quick look here. It's Guibigé with the fake to McWanda. He does find Rochelot, who is open up the middle, but he was wrapped up quickly by Lewis. And on the field, there's some nylon flies, as we are going to see another 
offside, I believe, this one on Alberta. As we head down to Mike Siona. As you can see there, Bowen Lewis is pictured, and he did a great job of breaking up that play and forcing Rochelot to drop that ball as it is offside on Alberta. They'll advance at five yards. It'll be second and five for the left hash on the 35-yard line of Alberta. That's it. Another great play by Lewis is able to knock that pass away. Cuvier's in the gun. Three men to his left, two to his right. McWanda in the backfield. Cuvier looking to pass. He's got a man open on the left-hand side. And once again, it's Matthew Blanchett with a big gain off the catch. And he'll be marked down at the Alberta 21-yard line. And Blanchett has turned into the favorite target by Sam Zachary Cuivier. But he is down here after getting hit hard near the end of that play. In reception by Mathieu Blanchett sur le jeu, he is capable to gagner environ 15 verges and avoir une premier essai de la pour Québec du 21e verge d'Alberta. Cuivier was looking Blanchett's way the entire way, and he does a good job making the catch, and then a huge hit by the Alberta defender there. A nice clean hit. Rory O'Donovan from St. Albert, Alberta. Hits him hard, forces him out of bounds, and looks as though it's a, it's a shoulder he's having worked on here as he's taking a knee, but he is up. Looks like he'll be okay. He'll just have to shake that one off. Well, I'm, I'm sure Quebec hopes he's all right because he's been making some plays all afternoon so far, and it was a great job by him uh, keeping his feet in balance, tiptoeing on the sidelines there, and uh, getting the first down. Cuivier now relaying the play, changing it up at the line. He will have three receivers to his right, two to his left with 2.17 left. Quebec still leading 17 to 10 from the left hash, Alberta's 21 yard line. Now there's the quick pass over to Vincent Forms Montblanc, and Montblanc beats the first man but can't beat the second as he's brought down by Ivan Boychuk. Sur premier essai, Quebec lance la balle. Uh, Vincent Forbes Montbleau, who is only capable to win one verge in the second half. The second half is enough verge to for Quebec. Second and nine from the right hash of the Alberta 20 yard line. Quebec leads this one 17 to 10. 204 left in our first half as Cuivier drops back. Here comes the blitz. That ball is intercepted by the big boys on the defensive line, tipped up and then picked off by Anthony Hume, the defensive lineman from Edmonton. The big man showing some skill there, being able to hold on to that interception. Big play by Alberta. That one just tipped out the line. Hume with the interception. You don't tend to see the big man with hands, but he does a great job here. That ball just coming out of Cuivier's hand. Oh, and yeah, ball just bounces around, and he's able to hold on to it. Impressive play. The first, the pass was originally knocked down and I guess tipped up by Ivan Boychuk. And then it's the big man, Hume, with the catches, we do have a Quebec player down being worked on. As you take a look there at Anthony Hume, the, the big man, he's 5'10", 270. The Alberta native, he's a, he's a solid man and he's been doing a good job of keeping the pressure on Cuivier and then showing off the hands for the big guy there. Yeah, I don't know if Hume is used to catching the ball too often, but he showed a good job there, holding on to the ball and it's a huge play for Alberta now. They're only down seven points with uh, Plenty of time here to get some more before the end of the half. With the wind, with the ball, first and 10 from the middle of the field from their 21-yard line. Basilis with the handoff, and he gives that over to the running back, Tristan Getzinger, and Getzinger will rumble forward on a good job of gaining some positive yardage. Looks like that'll bring up a second and four. Après une interception par numéro 92, Anthony Hume, Alberta, ils ont la balle à leur 20e verge. Et maintenant, après, après, la, après le premier essai, ils sont maintenant deuxième essai et cinq verges à aller. From the left hash, it will be second and four. From the 20, or the 26 yard line, Basilis in the gun. Sends all his receivers out wide. Basilis looking to pass. He's got some time and connects with Janky. That's Jacob Janky, but he's going to be short of the first down. Looks like about a yard and a bit. Does Alberta go for it here, Andre Lalonde? It's looking like they're thinking about it. I mean, it's a tough call. You know, they're inside their own 30-yard line, and uh, there's only a minute and a half left, and they've they got the momentum after the interception, and uh, it's going it's to be an interesting call to make here. The, next, the last time Alex Basilis kicked from about this spot on the field, it was an 80-yard punt. So <laughs> they obviously are going to bring, they are bringing out the punt team now, as you can see them make the substitutions. And they obviously have faith in the big-legged quarterback and kicker, Alex Basilis. 
Yeah, they definitely do. And uh, having a guy like Bassos back there, too, gives you the option for some kind of trickery and uh, something to try and get that first down. But I'm sure they'll just uh, kick it away here on third down. Bassos is going to kick it from his own 20-yard line by the time he gains the momentum. And there's another good kick with the wind, and that's going to force Quebec back to their 45. And once again, it takes an Alberta bounce as Quebec will be forced to return it at their 35, up to the 40. And that's just inside the 50 is where the Quebec returner is snuffed out. And Quebec now with good field position here as they want to build on this lead and maybe stop some Alberta momentum before we come to halftime. 112 left. Quebec leads 17-10 in the first half. Et ce troisième essai, Alberta est pas la balle. Alex Basilis avec une bonne batte. Et après le retour de Québec, ils sont maintenant à leur 44e verge. Ce premier essai. One of uh, Alberta's best defensive linemen, Dexter De Silva, is down. You can see that in the back of your picture. As we take a look at Cameron Saint Amand from Bishop Carroll, who was one of the first guys in on that tackle there on the Quebec punt return. He did a, a, a great, a great job there, Cameron St. Amon did, on getting downfield and creating the tackle. That's exactly it, John. Uh, I know Alberta was looking uh, for more for more on that offensive possession, but uh, after a good boot, they've, uh, they've held Quebec on their side of the field. And a nice job there by St. Amon. Uh, Alberta's had some issues with their tackling so far as he just squares his man up and stops it. And really, the underrated special teams tackle, if you will, that really can create some positive momentum for your team as Alberta now. They're going to look for a stop here. Still lots of time to get the ball back if Alberta could force a two and out. 112 left in the first half, 17-10. Quebec does lead this game. First and 10 from their own 44. It's Quivije looking to pass again. Quivije now moving around and here comes the pain. There's a flag on the play, but Quivije is wrapped up. It looks like first he shows off his hands. Now he's going to show off his tackling skills. Anthony Hume was in there along with Bobby Sagai to stop that game by Quibije. Anthony Hu making another big play for Alberta. We do have a flag. It is holding on Quebec was the initial call here as we'll watch Mike Siona make the official holding call. Quebec, number 61. Penalty is declined. Second down. And now after a penalty on Quebec, they will be the third and 14 verges to their 40th verge. Second and 14 from the 40-yard line after the four-yard loss on the run there by Quivije, and he's got a ways to go here to get a first down. Otherwise, Alberta's going to get this ball back with some time left as there's 56 seconds. The play clock's running down as Quivije looked like he was trying to force Alberta to come offside again, and nothing doing there. He'll take a timeout with 54 seconds left. Madame, moins que une minute reste dans la première moitié. Quebec a besoin de prendre un timeout sur le jeu. Ils veulent organiser leurs choses maintenant avec un, une grande deuxième essai pour eux autres. It'll be 17-10. Quebec does lead this game. 54 seconds left in the second quarter. And obviously, this is a big play here for Alberta because, on, Andre, as you know, if you get the ball back, okay. lots of time in Canadian football to march down and score, especially if they get good field position, which they have off the past couple of bolts and punts. That's exactly it, John. I mean, the. The Quebec team's going to want to at least get some positive yards here and uh, try and pin Alberta deep if they don't receive, you know, if they don't get the first down of this play. But uh, Alberta's defensive line has been getting pressure on them lately, and uh, especially, you know, Anthony Hume, a couple big plays yep. here, and uh, we guess we'll have to see, you know, second and 13 or 14 here, you know, Alberta's D-line knows it's not a run play, so they're going to be able to just pin their ears back and rush the quarterback. And that's exactly what it looks like they're going to do here as they sneak more men up the line. And it is a blitz for Alberta. Quivije, though, good job of his line picking it up. Tries the short pass to Sam McWanda. And nothing doing there as McWanda drops, drops it. And you can tell the heat was coming from Alberta. And that probably got in Quivije's head a little bit. Yeah, he's probably getting a little nervous in there, but uh, he was able to get the pass off to McGuanda. Unfortunately, unable to catch it. I, I'm not sure how many yards he would be able to get, even if he had caught it. But uh, get back now on third down. Uh, going to have to kick it away, and uh, Alberta's got a chance here before halftime to get some more points. And you see there on the replay, a nice job by Quivije's offensive line to pick him up, and an extra little shove there by Jay Min Pelly, the defensive lineman, but doing a good job of obviously not taking down Quivigé as that would have been 15 yards instead gives him the love tap and I'm sure they made dinner plans immediately afterwards. We're going to see Molson punt into the wind. His last couple haven't been great. This one though much better as it's going to curve out of bounds here and take a bounce there. Alberta 
incidentally makes contact there with the ball as it bounces back towards Ben Pasiak. And really nothing he could have done there to avoid the flag, Andre. Yeah, I mean, he was he was blocking his guy and, uh, you know, it was uh, unfortunate about to hit him, but uh, it's going to be a no yards call in the play, and so it's it's not really going to be an issue. As you see that take a really crazy hop, it almost looked like it was a heat-seeking missile at Pasiak there as he did a good job with the block, but the ball bounces right into his leg, and that's going to give Alberta some good field position here in the closing moments of our first half of the bronze medal game of the Football Canada Cup. 17-10, the lead for Quebec, but... Alberta with 10 unanswered points after no yards. opened up with the 17-yard penalty. Number 80, five-yard penalty, first down. Of course, uh, Mike Siona meeting Alberta number, or sorry, it was Quebec's number 80 as Alberta was returning the ball. Getting a little mix up there, Andre, as it'll be right from the center stripe. Alberta with the wind and with a little bit of time on their hands, 41 seconds lapped. As you watch Alex Basilis back at the gun. Vassilis now dropping back to pass, and he's got a man open and nearly intercepted. Jeremy Dominic nearly had his second interception of the game, but he's got hands like a defensive back. <laughs> there's a, yeah, there's a reason he's playing DB instead of receiver, and it's unfortunate he wasn't able to hold on to this one because he had a lot of green grass in front of him. He would have been gone as that goes off the hands of Kelton Bailey and into the hands of Jeremy Dominic, but he just can't hold on showing off those defender hands. And, Dominic's had a great game here so far in the bronze medal game of the Football Canada Cup. Basilis now, he's got he got options at receiver. He's got Brown open along the sideline, just misses him again by the fingertips. That's about the second time he's nearly connected with Brown on a long gain. That, that would have been a long gainer for Alberta and would have put them in, in field goal range anyways. And uh, it's unfortunate they were just, just off on that play. Basilis, as you can see, airing it out to his favorite target, Brown, and just the cruelty of sport, one could call it, as Brown is just an inch too short. And now Basilis is going to look like he's going to punt this ball from the midfield stripe. 31 seconds left, and now it'll be Quebec's turn. A decent return could turn into some points here for Quebec. As that brings up third and 10 from the center stripe. The crowd falls silent as they wait Basilis' punt, and it's another good one with the win. Francois Rochelot backing up to near his 10-yard line. Rochelot now makes a move, tries to cut it back inside, and more good works on special teams there. Jacob Janke in on the tackle, and as you see behind Janke, a flag on the play is usually a late flag like that means uh, something boneheaded like objectionable conduct, Andre. Flag on the play. Après pas trop de succès par Alberta sur l'offense, ils ont batté la balle à Québec. And penalty sur le jeu. An issue Quebec had in their game with Ontario was discipline, and it looks Unnecessary like... Unnecessary roughness. Quebec, number 50. 15-yard unrestricted penalty. First down. And that will back them up as we get a look here at the penalty. And yeah, there's number 54, Quebec, Chad Oyatus. One of their players to watch, but not for when he's doing boneheaded and things like that. You know, at that point, the play is done. Andre, you've done some special teams work, and you know you just gotta, you know, you just gotta put your hands up and relax. That's exactly, you know, you know the play's done. You know there's nothing you can do about it. Just uh, get ready for the next time you have the, you know, the next time you got the a punt return, and uh, you can hit him then. And Quebec took it from their own four-yard line after the 15-yard unnecessary roughness penalty, and a good job by McWanda getting them out of the shadows of their own goal posts. And that'll bring up second, and it looks like it should be second and long as we've got a timeout for Alberta here as they're going to try to back Quebec up once again. Quebec, he commenced their quatre, quatrième verge. Et, uh, sur le premier essai, he court la balle pour environ trois verges. Alors, ils vont maintenant deuxième essai et sept verges aller. Maintenant, avec seulement 16 secondes pour aller le premier moitié. As you look at Quebec's head coach, Pat Boyce, who will be joining us at halftime, as we were unable to, due to some time constraints, and then we'll get our coaches before the game. We're instead going to have a quick chat with them at halftime. So make sure you stick around for that here. But now it's second and seven from Quebec's seven-yard line after a nice gain there by McWanda to get them out of their own end zone. But still, Quivige, when he drops back, is going to be handling this from the black paint, and again, a nice handoff to McWanda. He's got some room off the right side. He tries cutting it back to the middle, and that's where he's met by a couple of Alberta defenders. And a great job there by McWanda. Everybody in the building knew the run was coming, Andre, but McWanda still able to gain some positive yardage. That's exactly it. Pinned down deep in their own end. They knew the run was coming, but 
he was able to gain a first down and uh, should, Quebec should be able to run the clock out now. And a great job by the right hand side of that Quebec offensive line. The right guard is Nicolas Lassage, right tackle Pierre Olivier Lassage, and both of them doing a great job creating a hole for McGowan. It looks like Quebec is just going to let this clock run down. They're going to take a knee and take the lead into the first half of the Football Canada Cup. The bronze medal game here as we await uh, our two coaches are going to come over and join us here at halftime. But I can tell you right now, Andre, Quebec, three-time defending champions who've been relegated to the bronze medal game, obviously. And now they're showing that they've got the medal. They're used to these big games. That's exactly it, Johnny. You know, uh, right off the bat, they showed that, especially as they hopped out to a 17-point lead. But uh, Alberta's battled back, and uh, we've got ourselves a good, good football game here at halftime. Who was, what do you think was the defining play of the first half of this game? You know, we were both watching Alberta struggle a little bit and struggle and struggle, especially offensively. And next thing you know, they were able to get it going. Uh, what, what changed for Alberta, Andre? I think they were just able to get Basilis going. They, you know, Basilis and Brown has been the key to their, their attack. And after a, a couple of huge plays and uh, Basilis able to complete passes, uh, they've uh, put up 10 points on the board. Pat Boys, the Quebec coach now, is uh, about to join us as our tech guys get this all set up. And Andre, uh, you will handle this interview here as uh, we wait for Pat to get set up. Andre will handle it en français. And we now turn it over down to the sideline to Pat. How's it going, sir? Bonjour, Pat. Uh, Comment tu, comment tu penses ton équipe a joué dans le premier moitié? Uh, answer, why don't we answer in English or French? How about you do both, Pat? <laughs> <laughs> no, we started off strong and then kids got uh, comfortable and uh, got started like playing, uh, making a couple of stupid penalties, stupid mistakes. Our Alberta started playing strong too, so we just got to dig deeper and uh, step it up a bit. And now on français? Uh, on fond, on commencé fort la, la partie. Uh, ensuite, les gars commencé à être uh, complaisants un petit peu. Ils sont revenus à certaines mauvaises habitudes. Puis, il faut leur brasser un peu les choses. Donc, c'est sûr qu'on s'attend mieux en deuxième demi, là, de commencer la deuxième demi comme on a commencé le match. Pat, what's your message to your team? You had some issues with uh, undisciplined penalties against Ontario. And now, right before the end of the half, you take a unnecessary roughness call on a bit of a boneheaded play uh, by the player there. Now, what's your message to your team to, to maybe control them in the second half? Uh, to stay focused and just uh, play our kind of football. En français? To stay focused and play football the football Quebec, you know, it's football individual. As, you as we take a look at that last play here on the monitors, uh, you jumped out to a 17-0 lead, kind of a dream start for you, coach. Uh, but you let uh, Alberta's back at the game 17 to 10. Uh, how crucial it is that how crucial is it that you guys grab the momentum early on in our second half? Oh, it's uh, like you said, it's uh, primordial. We uh, we have to do our things and just uh, we can't keep uh, let him let it let let them keep come back in the game. En français. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> On va juste euh, faire ce qu'on est capable de faire, le faire qu'on le fait en partant, puis pas les, 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 les continuer les laisser revenir dans le match. Uh, Pat, you don't have a lot of time here at halftime. We thank you for taking the time, and best of luck to your team here in the second half. Thank you. That was Quebec's head coach, Pat Boys. As he joins us here at half. Uh, what, what are some of your thoughts on his team, especially with the discipline issue there, Andre? Yeah, like he said in his interview, he was talking about their discipline issues, and I know that... Uh, a team like Quebec, where they've been in these big games before, but uh, I know that uh, after jumping out to a big lead and uh, Alberta bouncing back, maybe the players got a little bit frustrated, but I mean, they've got halftime now to regroup and uh, get ready to go for the second half. 17-10 Quebec leads as we take a look at Pat consulting with his staff. and. We're going to go to some first half highlights here as we take a look if you're joining us late. And first we watch Cui Vigier. This was the, the big touchdown run here uh, by Sam McWana from 20 yards out, or this was one of his first big runs of the game. McWana establishing there. Here's the touchdown for McWanda. Those were both in the same drive, nearly opening the game. McWanda there with a 20-yard score. That put Quebec up early, and they gained that big lead. And again, you watch Cui Vigier work some magic as there was his favorite target in the first half, Mathieu Blanchett with his touchdown catch. But Alberta responded. That was Alex Basilis running it into the end zone. That got into the Quebec lead. And so far, there's your three touchdowns in the first half. And Andre, I, I think Alberta kind of gaining all the momentum so far at halftime. That's exactly it. I think, the, I think you could say it's pretty safe to say that the win's been the big factor. And uh, in the first quarter, Quebec had the win and they jumped out the 17 point lead. And then second quarter, Alberta got the win and they, they got those 10 points back. 
and we are going to take a break here as Quebec leads 17 to 10. Bronze medal game of the Football Canada Cup. Andre and I will be back and we'll see can Alberta complete the comeback. We'll be back in 10 minutes, just hang on. First half number three. First down, 16 for Quebec, 7 for Alberta. Alberta's rushing leader, number 34, Brown. Five carries for 12 yards. For Quebec, leader is number four, Samuel Mokwanda. 11 carries for 126 yards. Leading receivers for Alberta, number 34, Miles Brown, four receptions for 46 yards. 14, Quebec. Matthew Blanchet, four carry, four receptions for 61 yards.
Et à Partizan, on va y accueillir le recteur des équipes. Voici l'équipe de Québec. Here comes Team Québec. Et le recteur de l'équipe de l'Alberta. And welcome back, Team Alberta. Welcome back for the second half here of the Football Canada Cup bronze medal game. Team Quebec leading Team Alberta 17 to 10. As we just await as Quebec had won that toss but deferred their choice of the second half. And it does look like Alberta will take the wind in the fourth, first fourth quarter rather. As we look at our first half stats, Quebec really dominating in the first half stats but this score a whole lot closer then those stats would, would indicate. I'm John Fraser with your play-by-play. -play. My color commentator, Andre Lalonde. Andre, what's some of your thoughts there on those stats? It looks like it should be a more one-sided football game. 2014 Football Canada got both today. University of All right, we just sort out our quick technical difficulties here. As Andre put the wrong headset on, you know, we we all love him, but he's still a football player at heart. Uh, good to go there, Andre. Back to back to taking a look at these stats. It's a 17-10 score right now for Quebec, but it looks a lot more lopsided. That's exactly it. Looking at these stats, you see the net offense of Quebec four times than what Alberta has, but then you look at the bottom of the graph and you have the punt yard, the punt yard average, and I mean, it's just those special teams, the field position, and a few key turnovers that have made the difference in this game. And that surprises me because John Molson's been such a good punter for Quebec through this tournament. We should mention too, we are having some issues with Internet Explorer. If you're watching this webcast, switch to a different provider, Firefox, Chrome, whomever, and you'll be able to watch this broadcast if your webcast is not working great. As Francois Rochelot takes the ball, he's got room here on the kickoff return. A uh, good job there by Alberta recovering, and he'll take it out to his 37-yard line as Quebec will have the ball again to start the second half with Alberta opting to take the wind in the fourth quarter as we walk Zachary Cuivige come onto the field. He was 10 of 19 for 121 yards, a touchdown and a pick in the first half, and he took over for Maxime Buffard, who was the original starting quarterback here for Quebec. Cuivige, as we... Mentioned there with a solid first half, getting his team on the board, but now he's got the win and trying to score some points. And Sam McWanda bounces it outside. McWanda's got some room. He's into the secondary. McWanda with a great gain there on first down. And now, commencement du deuxième moitié. Quebec à la balle et sur le premier essai. McWanda porte la balle pour le premier essai. Ils sont maintenant à leur 52e verge. As you watch why McQuan is so dangerous, he's just got so much acceleration. 11 carries for 126 yards in the first half, and he gets the ball again. This time, Alberta does a good job of containing McQuanda. McQuanda had an explosive first half, of getting over 100 yards. It's just that, that first contact. He's Alberta's getting up on him, but McQuanda breaks that first tackle, and he, he gets that speed going. And, uh, you know, once he gets going, it's tough to bring him down. And he was really key to the Quebec offense. Uh, I mean, it, it really opened up some pass yards, yeah. especially for the leading receiver, Mathieu Blanchet. 61 yards in the first half and the touchdown. Here's Quivigier on second down. He finds Francois Rochelot, who a couple drop passes in the first half. Looks like he's come back in a strong way. And Quebec now driving. They'll have a first down from the Alberta 44. Yeah, Quebec seemed to get things going, get things figured out here in halftime. And now with the, with the win here in the third quarter, they got their offense rolling. 
And again, it's been all the offense has come with the win, so we'll see what Quebec can do here as Alberta opted to take that win. Is Quivigé in the gun again? This time he gets the handoff to Rochelot, and Rochelot now cuts it outside. He looked like he wanted to get the edge, cuts it back inside, and he's got a nice gain on first down. Quebec ici sur leur premier essai, il porte la balle jusqu'à le 40, 38e verge de le bord sur Alberta. Ils sont maintenant deuxième essai et quatre verges à aller. Second and four for the left hash as Maxime Bouffard is in, the other quarterback, and he'll keep it. It is a quarterback keeper as it has been most of the day for Bouffard, and he's brought down by a wave of Alberta defenders including, it looks like one of the first contact there was, again, Bobby Sugai, who's been fantastic in, in this game. And Buffard hasn't thrown a pass at all this game, Andre, so Alberta had to know the run was coming. That's exactly it. I mean, there's not really the, the throwing threat so far today, and I mean, maybe next time he comes in, they're gonna have to mix it up something and uh, get him to throw the ball, get him rolling out and, uh, you know, change things up so it keeps the Alberta defense guessing. John Molson now, he's gonna let this go from about the Alberta 50 yard line, as you saw in the first half, a net punting average of just 16.8 yards. See if he can improve on this with the win. The Alberta returner is way deep, and that is Landon Rosen. Molson now, a good boot, and he just unleashed that one as Rosen takes it near his five. He drops the ball, and he is immediately tackled there by Quebec. Rosen drops the ball, and a great job there on special teams, as that'll be Dominic Brazo in on the special teams yeah, tackle as you watch Landon Rosen walk off. And we'll get a second look here at the fumble, which it looked like he was going to set up a good return, but hits him in the chest instead of in the hands, and out that ball comes. A little bit anxious there. He finally got his chance to uh, get his hands on the ball and uh, unfortunately just slipped through. And a nice job there. Dominic Brazo is walking back to his sideline, uh, making sure that uh, he's all over him. And there's the handoff to Brown. And Brown now is going to be stopped at the line of scrimmage by a couple of Quebec defenders. And Miles Brown so far, the best player for Alberta as he's got five catches for 12 yards and on the ground he's got or sorry he's got five rushes for 12 yards and he's got four catches for 46. Alberta maintenant avec la balle sur leur sixième verge et sur leur deuxième essai du neuf verge à aller. Alex Basilis the quarterback for Alberta who had an absolutely fantastic game against Saskatchewan he airs it out he's got Janky open but a good job there is Janky looking over the wrong shoulder trying to adjust to that ball and that'll be incomplete and bring up third and nine Alberta on their own five yard line. Alberta menace sur leur troisième essai de leur cinquième verge. Vasilis backs up and he tries to go deep to Janky, but a great job there. Two men in on coverage. The first one there. He's taken a couple pass interference penalties in the first half, but that was Quebec's number nine, Enoch Maconzo. And he does a good job of making sure, as we discussed in the first half, Andre, making sure that timing was correct. A half second too early, and that's a flag. That's exactly it. In the first half, you know, in the end zone, they unfortunately got flagged for it, but right there, they did a, a nice job, and now Alberta's got a decision to make whether to kick it away or give up the safety. Basilis is about 10 yards deep in his own end zone, kicking into the wind. Third and nine from the left hash and Basilis will just take the knee and that'll make the score 19 to 10 for Quebec 833 left here in our third quarter and a good decision by Basilis not trying to do too much yeah especially here with uh with the wind right in their face I mean they're not going to get that kickoff very far so I mean it's a good decision and now they can uh get uh pin Alberta uh, pin Quebec sorry to a uh, much worse field position even in into the wind here it, it should be interesting to see how Quebec ends up returning this ball Andre as you can see now they are up 19 to 10 in our bronze medal game of the football Canada Cup you can't have to think that this is going to be a, a booming kickoff into the into the wind which looks like it is swirling a little bit might be coming around from the other direction depending which flag stick you look at here at Griffith Stadium Maintenant, après un, un touché de sur sécurité sûreté par Alberta, c'est maintenant 19 à 10 pour Québec. Il y a 8 minutes qui restent dans le troisième carreau. Des Catillier will handle the kickoff duties here for Alberta as the wind has shifted back to the south position, which it's been in uh, most of 
the football game coming from the north blowing south as Cotillier a good job getting that down to the 20-yard line and that's where it'll be returned by Quebec a quick move inside outside rochelot has got some room and Rochelot a great return and Quebec is going to start this drive with fantastic field position Après le retour de Québec ils vont commencer avec le ballon à leur 45e Belge ils sont menacés sur l'attaque Good field position here for Quebec. They're going to take it on the left hash of their 45-yard line. Zachary Quivijay back in under center. Three receivers to his right, two to his left. First and 10. Quebec leads 19 to 10. With just over eight minutes left here in our third quarter, Quivijay out of the gun. Fakes the handoff to McWanda and tries to find Rochelot over the middle, but he might have heard the train coming there as that one slips through his hands. Yeah, just a bit of a timing issue too there. It didn't look like he he, he turned his head on the, quick enough on the play, but uh, Quebec here, let's see if they can get things going here with the win again. As we take a second look at the Quivijay pass, a good job of Quivijay made them bite on the fake handoff and then right through the hands of Francois Rochelot, something he struggled with this game. Normally one of the best offensive weapons for Quebec. He's had troubles holding onto the football. Quivijay back to pass. Here comes the blitz. Alberta bringing the pain. Quivijay tries to dump it off there to Vincent Forbes Montblanc as the pressure was in his face and it got to him. And now Quebec going to be forced to punt as that'll bring up third down. Quebec est menacé sur leur troisième essai. Ils vont battre la balle à Alberta. Again, on second down, Alberta bringing a blitz, which they've done often there. There was a man free off the edges. All Quivijay tries to do is he knew he was wrapped up, tries to make the short pass to Forms Montblanc as he basically ran into a couple of Alberta defenders, def defenders Ethan Mahani and Cameron St. Amand. It will be John Molson back to punt, hoping to improve on his average of 16.8 yards in the first half. And there's a good punt there. And He'll back the Alberta returner all the way up to the 35-yard line. He'll run it just past said 35-yard line. And a better job there by Landon Rosine as he fumbled the last time he handled the punt. Yeah, I know that after he did that, he just wanted to secure that ball and get it, you know, as many positives as he could. Wasn't going to do anything fancy on that play. Good job there by Rosine. And some decent field position here for Alberta as they're going to be working into the win. First and 10 from their 34-yard line. Rosina. Hales Sylvan Lake, Alberta as his hometown as Alex Basilis is back in the gun. He hands it off now and changing the pace a little bit as they kept trying to get the ball over to Miles Brown and they change it up, this time giving it to Daniel Adeskun. Adeskun with uh, some positive yardage there on first down should bring up about a second and five. And Miles Brown is back in the backfield for Alberta. Three receivers to the left of Basilis, two to the right. Basilis back to pass. He dumps it off to the right-hand side and not quite enough or might be enough. Yes, that is going to be enough for a first down. It's a nice catch on that far side and a good job stretching out to get some extra yardage. Alberta maintenant avec le ballon. Et sur deuxième essai, ils complètent le lancer et ils vont proche du premier essai. 19 to, to 10, Quebec leads here in the bronze medal game as the, we await the measure. But from, from what we can see up here, Andre, it, uh, we believe it should be a first down uh, for Alberta. Yeah, it definitely looks like it, John. He did a good job stretching out for the ball, and it is a first down for Alberta. By about the nose of the ball, we like to call it. That'll give Alberta a fresh set of downs as they're going to have a first and 10 from the 44-yard line. The right hash is where they're going to take over as we watch Alex Basilis there in the backfield, the starting quarterback for Alberta, who wasn't quite up to his usual standard. 7 of 12 in the first half with a pick and no touchdown passes as Basilis hands off to Brown. And Miles Brown now starting to get the run game going there. A nice six yard gain on first down. Yeah, Alberta going back to Brent Potter, giving it back to Brown. A nice gain on first down. Brown now getting a nice push behind his offensive line, as you can see here, as they hold their blocks, and he gets up into the second wave of defenders. And with some positive yardage, Basilis now drops back, three receivers to his left. He completes that pass there. That'll be Ben Pasek, and Pasek now is down to the Quebec 50. That'll be another first down for Alberta, who still trailed this game 19 to 10. Even with their face in the wind, Alberta's been getting things going here on this drive, and. Uh, they're looking to get some points after uh, giving up a safety on their last offensive possession. And you can tell Basilis there wanted to go to his first option. That was Pasek, and he does a good job doing that as they give the ball back, put it back on the ground as they give it to their 
one of their other running backs, That's Tristan Getzinger, and he rumbles forward. He's more of a straight north-south running back as opposed to Miles Brown, who likes to move it around. That's exactly it. A little bit of change of pace here about Berta, and maybe giving Brown a, a quick breather here as they're going to need him down the stretch for this game. Basilis now under center. Getzinger is the back. Five receivers out there, too. And there's the receiver screen, and that is complete. The play over to Sam Clayton, and Clayton there, he's going to get up to the Quebec 35. That'll be a first down, Alberta. L'offense ici d'Alberta réussit une autre première essai. Ils sont maintenant à la 35e verge de Québec, et regarde à voir plus de points. First and 10 from the right hash of the 34-yard line, and you can watch here. Good job by Basilis, who throws it backwards. Always a risky play, as if that's dropped, that's a live ball, but good job by Clayton to gain the yardage, and they'll put it back on the ground. That'll be again to Tristan Getzinger. And Getzinger with, much like he did the first time, rumbles forward for about four or five yards. That's exactly it. That's, that's all you can ask for. You, know, you can tell they're just straight dive plays. They're just looking for that. Uh, that short gain uh, just to make it more of a second and manageable. Second and seven is what they're going to call it. It's a short seven, more of a second and six here. As we have whistles all over the field. No flag on the play, though, as it looks like they uh, we can see what our official, I believe he was whistling it down as Julian Leguenic was tying his shoe, but not exactly sure here. As when we, we get, get someone, someone to check the 20 second play clock in the North End Zone. Having some we'll go off this one officially. Having some issues with the 20 second play clock in the North End Zone here at Griffith Stadium. Obviously, some Alberta's going to want to watch. We still have the 20 second clock on the far side, but it's got to be difficult now. Alberta may be flying blind a little bit as, the, uh, as you see there. The 20 second play clock not working on the north end zone, and Alberta's just going to have to count Mississippi's. <laughs> That's exactly it. The clock's behind them now, so Basilis is going to have to do a good job managing the clock and uh, keeping an eye on the play clock. Basilis tries to jump Quebec offside. A bold call not having the play clock, and he's complete again. He finds Ben Pasjic on his left-hand side, and Pasjic, he's got first down yardage and a bit more, and Alberta now, they're starting to drive a little bit as they look to cut into this Quebec lead. Another quick pass by... Basilis, I mean, that, that's, been the, that's been the key today. When they've been dropped back and uh, scrambled around, Basilis hasn't had much success. It's just those quick hitters that have been getting their drives going. As you can see, Basilis reading through all his options. Kastrick wasn't the first read there, but he does a great job, and he's been doing a great job all tournament, Andre, of going through his reads, and he connects once again with Ben Pasjek, who in the first half was held without a catch officially. But I know he did a good job on punt returns and getting open. Alberta maintenant à la 17e verge de Québec. Le premier essai. Yeah, it's the type of thing, uh, John, at halftime, they probably uh, they noticed the stat sheet. They noticed that Pastrick hadn't any receptions. And so they, uh, right off the bat here in the third quarter, they wanted to get the ball to him. And uh, so far, it's been a successful idea. As we watch Keen Herolimia uh, up off the field, as that last play, he was shaken up there shortly after it. We're going to take a look here at the injuries. You can see Herolimia goes in for the tackle and just looks like he jams his shoulder, drops after he couldn't quite bring down Pasjuk. And he looks like he, he should be okay now, but I imagine it's got to be tough on the shoulder. Andre, you've probably done that a time or two more than I have. Uh, is that possible you just jam your shoulder in a play like that? That's exactly it. I mean, it doesn't take much, but I mean, uh, it's, it's tough to play with a shoulder injury, as you know. Football is a, a contact sport, and so every play you're going to be hitting someone with that shoulder, and so it's going to be uh, you know, interesting to see if he's going to be able to come back in this game. This will be first and 10 as Alberta takes over at the Quebec 17-yard line. Basilis sending his men in motion. He's directly under center, and he's going to give it to Brown. Brown now with the hole right up the middle. Brown up to the 5-yard line. That should be close to a first down for Alberta as Miles Brown does a good job of running through a wide open spot in the middle of that line. Le porteur de ballon, Miles Brown, to Alberta. Ce premier essai, il réussit environ 9 verges et ça va être deuxième essai et très court pour Alberta. Maintenant sur le septième verge de Québec. A great job by the center, Nathan Chimuk, and it looked like the left guard, Brendan Barnes, doing a great job of creating that, that move for 
Alberta. They've just made an announcement here in the building that because of technical difficulties with the north end zone 22nd clock, as it shows that the measurement comes up about two chain lengths short of the first down. Now both teams are going to be working without the 22nd clock as they level the playing field here and they can, until they can get that glitch figured out at Griffith Stadium here in Saskatoon. Andre, how's that, how's that going to be difficult for the teams? What's the biggest difficulty for both teams now working without a play clock? I mean, it's going to be tough, especially for the quarterback for both teams. I mean, knowing how much time they have, whether they need to hurry up their team to the line of scrimmage. And uh, we've seen a lot of, a lot of uh, you know, uh, fake snaps and stuff like that by both teams. So it's going to be interesting to see if they can still do that. Second and one from the seven yard line. Basilis hands off to his big running back. That one being Tristan Getzinger. And it looks like Getzinger might have been stopped just short of the first down. We'll get a better look at it here as they do the measurement, but a good job by Getzinger hitting the hole hard. They are going to give him forward progress, and it will be first and goal from the six. We got a great shot here as you're going to watch Getzinger near the far side of your, of your screen. He's going to get just past that second down stick and give him his forward momentum. He was knocked back by a couple of Quebec defenders, but Basilis now looking to make this a two-point game. Janky on the wide receiver reverse. That was sniffed out and a great job. Yanis Shilhat. We've said his name a few times today as he stops Janky in the backfield, and that'll be a loss for Alberta. Alberta trying a little bit of trigger here with the, round, the end around by Janky, and uh, Quebec was having none of it as defenders were all around as soon as he got the ball, and uh, Alberta now in a tougher spot, and, uh, second and long. Shilhat sniffed that out, and he knew what was coming. did a good job there of limiting the attack. Basilis now off to his left-hand side, finds the big man, and you can hear contact there. Tristan Getzinger is gonna be stopped short of the goal line. Looks like he's gonna be stopped about the three, but there is a flag on the play. A nice catch by Getzinger, and a great job of keeping those feet moving and trying to get as many yards as he could, but uh, unfortunately, penalty on his team. Alberta was offside. It is a two-score football game here, so likely see a kick. Likely see a kick here from Alberta as it is 19 to 10. Quebec still leads. We wait to see if they're going to decline the offside. Offside, Alberta, number 10. Fire penalty, repeat second down. They're, they're going to have him try it, uh, try it again. As you can see, that was number 10. Nathan Rowe was offside, but in the last play there, Vasilis over to Getzinger. And I don't know if I like this call by Quebec. I guess Quebec was thinking that there was maybe a chance Alberta was going to go for it there at the three-yard line. And uh, you know they decided to set them back, and they're confident their defense will be able to, to hold them here on second down. And Alberta has been aggressive on third down throughout the entire tournament there, as you see. Head official Mike Siona working this game and the rest of his crew doing a fantastic job here this afternoon at Griffith Stadium, the bronze medal game. Quebec leading Alberta 19 to 10. It'll be second and goal from the 17 yard line. Basilis now, he rolls out. Basilis, he's scrambling, looking for some spot, space off the edge and a huge hit on the star Alberta quarterback, Dominic Brazo, taking a shot when he can as Basilis was looking for extra yardage. Basilis rolling out there, you know, second and long like that. They needed uh, to take time, and it's going to need to be a big gainer. And so they rolled out, and uh, Quebec was able to get the pressure and uh, lay a good lick on uh, Basilis. And that's going to be a tough direction for Basilis as he is a, a rare left handed quarterback. It's going to be near impossible to throw across his body. And it does look as though they are going to go ahead and kick the field goal. As we look at Des Catillier is on the field. And as you take a look at Enoch Oconzo, who was in on that tackle of Basilis. And this is going to set up. It's into some fierce wind, so this is no automatic. And it's going to be an 18-yard field goal attempt by Des Catillier for Alberta. 19 to 10, Quebec leads. Balls down off the foot of Catillier. And it is good. And that will make this a 19 to 13 lead. Alberta now within one touchdown. Alberta sur le placement, le pot est bien, alors maintenant c'est 19 à 13 pour Alberta avec 2 minutes et 24 secondes qui reste ici dans le troisième carreau. Now it's a one score game, something that I'll, I'm sure Alberta would have taken the way that their first half started. Of course, Quebec starting this off with a 17 nothing lead in this bronze medal game of the Football Canada Cup. Now that lead down to just six points, Andre. Does Quebec need to respond here with the wind and make it a two-score game once again? That's exactly. With two minutes left here, Alberta's happy with the way they're sitting right now, and uh, Quebec's got an opportunity now to 
hopefully get some points before the end of the third quarter. And uh, they just got the win, and so they're going to have to get something going. Quibi J hands off to McWanda as he was trying the stretch play, and it, it's nothing doing there. That looks like that's going to be a loss of at least two or three by McWanda. There is a flag up in the secondary dairy here as we're going to take a second look at the McWanda attempt. McWanda, you see, running out to that left-hand side. Oh, a good job by okay. Alberta's defense getting up, getting aggressive on him, especially number 44, Brandon Dubell. They called holding on Quebec. They will decline it, as this will bring up a second and 13 from the left hash for the 32-yard line of Quebec. Quebec mena avec la balle, alors 32e verge, c'est mena 2e essai et 12 verges à aller. Quibige now dropping back to pass. He sends all his receivers out, and a nice pass completion there to Vincent Forbes Montblanc, who adjusted, got down, and made the grab. Actually, it looks like they are calling incomplete on the play. He wasn't able to hold on to it, but uh, you know, Alberta doing a good job here and uh, forcing Quebec to punt. And uh, this third quarter has been uh, impressive by Alberta. And uh, with the win here, we'll see what kind of field position will happen after the punt. Forbes Montblanc hears it from his head coaches. Yeah, that one hit him in the chest. Squirt it out, and that'll be an incomplete pass. A good call there by the officials as Mom Blow received an earful when he received when he came back to the sideline as John Molson will punt now as Alberta's got the momentum. They're about to get the ball back. Trailing by six. Molson tries to angle this one out towards the sidelines, and he will do just that. It will go out of bounds at about the 45-yard line. Just waiting to see the official. Mark here, and as they limit the return, as Landon Rosen had had a good return last time, as John Molson kicks it out of bounds, and Alberta with pretty good field position, all things considered. Yeah, Alberta with the ball here at the 45-yard line, a minute, minute 40 left. I know that they've, they've done a pretty good job here in the third quarter, despite the wind in their face. So uh, we'll have to see if they can keep this run game going. Brown now back in the game. Brown had taken some time off and he gets the rock as he tries to split it outside, he'll do so. And he's up to the center stripe before he's brought down and that'll be a nice gain of nine yards on first down for Miles Brown as Alberta's done a good job in the second half of getting their run game going. Alberta done the ballon to Brown and he will jusqu'au to the center du Second and one, Vasilis with the hand off to Brown, and he's met there but breaks the contact and is able to gain the first down. It looks like he was going to be brought down behind the line. Dominic Brazo with the initial hit, but Brown able to bounce off and gain the first down. Yeah, Brown determined on that play to get the first down. Uh, maybe those fresh legs helping him out there with two nice runs back to back here. As you watch here, he gets hit by Brazo, breaks the tackle, and is able to lunge forward and get first down yardage. An important first down here for Alberta as they work into the win. Vasilis, he hands off to Getzinger as they again change the pace, something they've done a lot more in the second half than they did in the first, and that'll be a very short gain as Quebec's defensive line does a good job of limiting the yardage. Yeah, Alberta having a concentrated effort on the run game here in the third quarter. You know, things were a little bit tough for, tough for Vasilis in the first half with lots of pressure in his face, but uh, now they got the run game going, it should open things up for him. Second and seven from the Quebec 49. Basilis back to pass. Six receiver set. Basilis looking for some room. He's got a man. There's the pass just over the head of Kelton Bailey as he was able to roll out and Bailey got open, but unable to complete the pass. Basilis rolling out in the play and had the receiver Bailey open, just unfortunately overthrew him. As you see Basilis doing a good job again with his legs to get open, and he's got he's got Bailey wide open, but just again, just a little too high, and that'll bring up third and seven from the 49 into the wind. And again, something Quebec has to be cautious of here is the fake, as the quarterback Basilis, who obviously can pass and run, as we've seen that so far in this game, also handles the kicking duties. We await to see what Alberta decides to do. Basilis, if he kicks, will be kicking from about the center yard stripe into an aggressive win here. He does opt to do so. He finds the sideline. Good Parker, job Parker, there. Parker. That will take. Basilis is on it. You'll see the flag for no yards, but it was the punter, Basilis, in on the return, and there is confusion amongst the Quebec's punt return team as that ball took an Alberta bounce and Basilis able to recover. A great heads up play by Basilis going downfield and charging after that ball. It took a, a bounce back towards him and he was able to get the ball back. 
<laughs> As we await, there were some, some issues with the mic of Mike Siona, but you'll watch again here. Basilis lets the ball go, heads up the green helmet. You see him there. He's on it at the 30-yard line, keeping this drive alive. And that, that, the ball moving backwards allowed Basilis to pull off that play. And a great athletic play by the punter and quarterback for Team Alberta. As we watch our third quarter come to a close, and how how awesome is that, Andre? You've been on offense and special teams. It's not a play you see often, but how much momentum does your team get when your punter pulls a head up, heads up move like that? I mean, it was a great heads up play by Bass. It's obviously a very smart kid, and uh, you know, it kind of looked like it was going to be a bad bounce for Alberta, but it ended up being a fortunate bounce, bouncing right into Bassless, and uh, with the recovery, Alberta gets to keep the ball, and uh, now with the win here as we start the fourth quarter, uh, Alberta's got a great chance to score. And there's the bounce it takes backwards, and Quebec with some confusion. As you can see, there was only one man in pursuit of Bassless, the punter. That was Adam Andrews, but he beat Andrews after he let that ball go. And a good job by Bassless, not just sitting there and posing, and to make sure he gets onto that punt. So heading into the fourth quarter, Alberta Alberta does trail 19 to 13. Quebec leading this one in the bronze medal game. They've got the ball now. They've got great field position. They've got the wind. What will happen if they score here? How How is this momentum going to shift, Andre? It's going to be a big change of the game. I mean, they're only six points down. So if they are fortunate enough to get seven points on the board, they'll take the lead for the first time today. And that will put Quebec in a tough spot now with the win in their face for the fourth quarter. Right now, working on some scoreboard issues here, but it is 19-13 Quebec at the end of three quarters. As they try to get that play clock working here in the north end zone as both teams will be forced to work without it. As you see, a whole lot of zeros, and hopefully we don't have to break out the stopwatches up here on Trey LaHont. <laughs> yeah, hopefully that's not the case, and hope they get things figured out here, but uh, I'm sure I'm sure I'll, Quebec is fine with the stoppage, and uh, hopefully they're wanting the... The cool down Alberta as Alberta is riding high right now with the momentum. Especially after, again, that great play by Alex Basilis, the quarterback and kicker, to return his own punt and get Alberta back the ball when it looked like they were going to, and that looked like it was going to be a short punt too, and it looked like Quebec was going to be the ones with the field position. Instead, it's Alberta. First and 10, the 32-yard line, the right hash there is where Basilis will take over. Two receivers right, three to his left, sends Miles Brown in motion. Basilis looking to pass now. Avoids the rush. Can he? He broke a tackle there, and it looked like he was going to be sprung loose, but it was Sal for Quebec that eventually brought down Basilis, who was quite elusive, but that's still a great job of gaining seven yards. Alberta, encore avec le ballon. Ils sont maintenant deuxième essai et deux verges à aller. Ils sont à la 24e verge de Québec. Vasilis with a good job there, gaining positive yardage after breaking a play. Brown runs into no gain, but we do have a flag on the play. It is a hold on Alberta on the second and two play. And it was Brown that ran into the line, but was stopped for almost no gain there. And we wait the official call. Alberta, number 63, 10-yard penalty, repeat second down. They are going to make them repeat the down as that's Ramey Carfan with the hold. As you can see here is Brown. Now watch watch Carfan 63. As he's going to grab his defender and bring him down by the jersey and the shoulder pads as Brown is still stopped. And I think that was a pretty clear holding call, an easy call for the refs to make, and now uh, second and long for Alberta. Second and 12, they're backed up to the 34-yard line. Masilis now with the five-receiver set, sends Brown out to the flank. As that's where he's looking. He finds Brown complete. Brown's got a couple guys to beat. He does so. He's tackled from behind. They're going to mark him at about... The 19-yard line, which is going to bring up decision time for Alberta once again, as they're going to be third and short from the 19. As Basilis, you can watch him here, empty the backfield. Complete to Brown. And Brown does a good job of making a couple guys miss and getting up near that first down marker. How important, especially as a running back, are those yards after the catch? on a play like that, Andre. Yeah, especially as a running back, you know, you're, you're catching the ball near the line of scrimmage, and so all, all the positive yards are gonna happen after the catch, and uh, getting the ball into an athlete like Brown's hands is never a bad idea. And that's what they've been trying to do. That seems to be the biggest adjustment that Alberta has made. They've been getting the ball to Brown a lot more in this bronze medal game, especially in the second half, as there's 10.49 left in our 
football game. And that'll be a first down Alberta as you hear the Alberta fans in attendance here making the short trip from the neighboring province. You hear the cheers from them. And first and 10 from the 21 yard line, Alberta trailing 19 to 13. Après une réception de Brown, Alberta a maintenant le ballon sur le 21e verge de Québec avec premier essai. Vasilis under center now, hands off to Brown again, and Brown tries to cut it outside. And he's brought down almost instantly. Again, Shadiki Saidi Sow is the man with the tackle. And that'll be a loss of a couple here on second down. Yeah, Quebec obviously, obviously no one on first down, the ball is going to Brown. That's what Alberta's been doing most of the day, and uh, they weren't surprised with that one, and they, they swallowed that up right away. Especially with Basilis under center, that, that really even more indicates the run as those two young men have combined to bring Alberta back into this football game. Basilis empties out the backfield. Here comes the heat from Quebec, and he's got a man open, but Kellogg can't hold on to it on the far side. And it'll be third and 12. Alberta trails this one 19 to 13 from the 23 yard line. It'll be about a 30 yard field goal attempt if they go for it with the wind. Alberta maintenant sur leur troisième essai, ils vont essayer un placement. Et c'est environ à le 30e verge. Ils vont essayer de, de changer le, le pointage. Alors c'est maintenant 19 à 13. Ils vont essayer de venir, de venir de juste seulement à 3 points. As you watch the dejection on Trey Kellogg's face after he dropped that pass. And it is going to be a 30 yard attempt for Des Cotillier. He's one for one on the day. And he'll try to cut this down to a three point lead. Snap is good. Kick is good, and it's through, and that will make it 19-16. Alberta, after falling behind 17-0, has brought them within three points with 9.58 left in our fourth quarter. Bronze medal game, Football Canada Cup. Alberta, with the placement, is good. The point is now 19 16 for Quebec, with 9 minutes and 58 seconds to go here in this match. And if you're Quebec, and it's another, you're now into the wind, how devastating is a two and out here, Andre? It would be very devastating, especially with all this momentum Alberta's got going. Uh, Quebec's got to find something to turn things around, or they might find themselves behind for the first time today. And right as we come back, he's Chichnibo Kambala from Montreal, passed just over his head from Quivijay on the near side to us. That is incomplete as Quivichet once again back into the gun. Quivichet trying to draw Alberta offside. He's done that a couple times and it looks like he may have done so. Or could this be a procedure call on the team with the lead, Quebec? We wait to see. Quebec marching up. It looks like it might be an offside call. Offside, Alberta, number 99. Five yard penalty. Still second down. Dexter De Silva jumps offside, and Quebec will have a second and five from the 45-yard line in their own zone from the left-hand hash. And you watch here again. This is one thing Quibi Jay's done a very good job of, the hard count, forcing Alberta to jump, and he does it again. And now he's back at the gun. Three receivers to his left, two to his right. Quibi Jay now looking at pass, looking to that near side again, and he finds Vin Vincent Forbes ball below, and Forbes ball below will get a first down. Quebec maintenant avec le ballon et après une réception par Vincent Forbes ball below. Ils ont réussi le premier essai et ont le ballon maintenant à leur 46e verge. You can see Quivier get that one out real quick. Forbes ball below doing a good job surviving contact, holding on to the ball and gaining just enough for a first down. Is now Quebec on their own 46-yard line. Quivier in the gun from the left hand hash. He hands it off to Sam McWanna. McWanna comes to the near side, and that's where he's stopping. He keeps moving that pile forward. It looked like McWanna was going to be stopped, but that pile just kept moving. A good job there by McWanna, who was more well known for his speed than his power. Yeah, right there on the play. I mean, it looked like it was going to be stopped near the line of scrimmage, but McWanna did an excellent job keeping his legs going, and his offensive line helped him out, and they were able to push forward for the game of about five. You're going to see McWanda run into the pile. It looked like it was going to be stopped right about there, but he just keeps his legs chugging, and he gets it up past the Quebec 50, and we're going to see second and five, 8.45 left in this football game. Quibi J back in the gun. He's got 
three receivers left, two to the right, looks left again, and that's where he finds his man completion. Marvin Gaye, not singing sweet soul music, this time catching passes and getting first downs. Yeah, another nice completion by Cui Vigier on the play, and uh, Quebec is able to roll out a couple first downs here. Cui Vigier doing a good job right now, just taking his first read and taking what's given to him as you watch him turn to the left, instantly fire it out wide, and there's Gay with the completion. And that'll be a first down. As there is a player currently down. After a reception by Quebec, they have reached the first save. And they have the ball now at the 23rd verge of Alberta. After plus de points mis sur le pointage par Alberta, Quebec has to respond with the points. As we try to catch a number here on the player that is down, the training staff is attending to him. Didn't catch what happened there as we were following up on the play, but waiting to see if he will get up. It does look like this is the one that's always concerning is the header neck injury. Looks like it's the center for Quebec. As we take a look, look right in the middle of your picture there. He's backed up. And he goes down. And that looks like we might be looking at a, a neck, possibly. As you can tell, the, the, the care and intention that, it, that is brought when it's a neck injury to make sure everything's fine. This isn't a situation that the medical or training staff are going to rush on, and that's always good to be safe as Sam Lefebvre is the, the center who's down as his teammates wait. He is moving his left arm. We did see him previously move his legs, but they go through the proper uh, stuff. And we'll have another look here at the play. Possibly the left guard. We're going to have a second look here as we watch this offensive line. And we do see, see the man go down. Just drops. Looks like he got hit in the head and dropped pretty quickly, which is usually an indication of a neck injury. Andre, is this a spot you've ever been in before, a head or neck? Luckily, I haven't been in this spot. I mean, uh, it's uh, very unfortunate for it to happen. It's a very physical sport. Uh, it's been a good sign. He is moving around down there, so at least we know that there is there is some movement, and uh, hopefully it's nothing serious. The, uh, they are going to bring on the golf cart and uh, bring him up and off the field, and that's when we're going to get uh, a good look there as we've, uh, we believe it's either the center Sam Lefebvre or the left guard Vaso Cabrillo. Tough to see as the training staff uh, attends to the young man here as we wish him all the best. And Hope he is okay, and we'll take a moment away from the injury here, uh, Andre, to talk a little bit about the game so far. 1916, Quebec does lead. 8:38 left in our football game. Quebec now a little bit on their heels after jumping out to a 17-0 lead. It's been all Alberta in the second half of the football game, and, and now Quebec with the ball, they have been charging. Is this going to kill some serious momentum here, Andre? I, th I mean, it's, it's always tough, especially when an injury like this. I mean, you wish it, you wish this never happens, but uh, it, you know, Quebec was able to manage a couple quick first downs here in response to Alberta's field goal. But uh, we'll have to wait and see how uh, Quebec responds to this, and uh, you know, I'm sure they're going to be inspired to, to play for their, their injured teammate. And uh, they've got eight minutes here to, to hold on to their lead. Who does the break uh, benefit more, the Alberta defense or the Quebec offense right now, Andre? I would probably have to say the the Alberta defense. I mean, the offense just finished getting two quick first downs, and uh, you know they kind of started to get things going again. But uh, something like this, especially you know, you know, a, you know, an offensive lineman goes down, that change that changes everything. Well, you know, it, whether they have a, a good backup to put in there, we don't know. But uh, we'll have to see how uh, Quivige and the the Alberta the Quebec offense, sorry, uh, responds to this. They are going to send both teams to their sidelines. It appears as this does look like this is a fairly serious situation as, as both teams are. Now, we don't know the exact 
what exactly they do, and perhaps you can answer this better than I can, Andre, but at what point do, do teams typically get sent back to the sidelines in an injury situation like this? I mean, obviously, it, take, it takes something fairly serious for that to happen, but, I mean, I, we did see some movement, so, I mean, I mean, that is a good sign. I mean, this, this training staff is going to want to be precautious, obviously, and, uh, you know, you're not, you don't want to mess around with anything like a neck injury or head injury. And they are going to remove the cart, but it, it does look as though one of the organizers is on his cell phone. We can see uh, one of the tournament organizers out there, John Marciniak, I believe, uh, organizing committee has been doing an absolutely fantastic job. But um, John is on the phone right now. You'd almost have to assume at this point it might be with an ambulance paramedic first aid. Yeah, at this point, this pro that's what we're assuming. That's going to be his call, but uh, no. We're, hopefully it's not, but I mean, uh, it's good that they're being precautious and, uh, you know, obviously you wish nothing but the best for that young man down there. They're still trying to get a look to verify who the injured Quebec player is. As I try to count numbers here on the sideline. Don't to pick up your 50-50 tickets. Uh, Jackpot has made it way up to $3.60. Our team pose has been a joueur sur le terrain qui est placé pour Québec. Il y a maintenant 8 minutes qui restent, c'est encore 19 à 16 pour Québec. We got confirmation from our team in the truck here doing an absolute fantastic job that is Dome Productions putting on this uh, with myself and Mr. Lalonde to my right, and that is Vasso Cabrillo. He is the starting left guard for Quebec. Hometown is Sherbrooke. He's the injured man on the play and what is looking like a, a, a fairly serious situation and not something you ever really want to see in any level of football, especially with some of these young young men. is It's just sad, really. I mean, don't want to see anybody get hurt. Yeah, obviously you never want to see anybody get hurt. And, uh, you know, these young men are just, you know, starting to hit the elite level of football. And, uh, you know, something like this is uh, very discouraging for a player like that. And so hopefully it's nothing serious and uh, he'll be up and playing uh, in time for his uh, high school team. Training staff now, as you can see on the Quebec sideline here, they're uh, rattling their troops uh, while the medical staff attends to Cabrillo. He's uh, the injured Quebec player down, in case you're just joining us. Uh, his neck appeared to snap back, and he dropped almost instantly as Quebec now joining in prayer on the sideline for their injured teammate. Quebec currently leading this game 19-16. When we resume, it will be a first and 10. They're on the Alberta 53-yard line, driving the ball until this tragic incident happened here. And as Andre said, as you can see now, the Quebec team on the sideline is there, gathered in prayer for Cabrillo, their, their injured teammate. Yeah, Quebec obviously, uh very saddened, but I mean, they're in a, in a word of prayer right now, you know, hoping for the best for their teammate. And uh, it's uh, never an easy thing to have a teammate down like this. And, uh, you know, especially after, you know, a long break like this, I mean, they're going to want to keep their focus on the sidelines still. And uh, there's still a lot of time left in this football game. And uh, Alberta's been charging. And so Quebec's going to want to keep things tight on the sideline and uh, stay focused. But, uh, you know, you know, Alberta, Alberta's uh, been charging back pretty hard here in the second half, especially. And, uh, it's going to be a, an interesting eight minutes uh, when we get the game resumed. And, and just to recap, I guess, Quebec started this game, in case you're just joining us uh, late, Quebec started this game by jumping out to a 17 to nothing lead, and they looked like they could do no wrong. It looked like they were going to be the ones going home with bronze, the bronze medal here, the Football Canada Cup. But since then, the wind shifted, the teams changed sides in the first half, and now it's Alberta with all the momentum, although they do trail 19 to 16 here, the bronze medal game. Make sure you stay with us later tonight as the gold medal game is still upcoming. And I'm sure this is going to be a packed Griffith Stadium here in Saskatoon as it is Team Saskatchewan Green taking on Ontario. And this is obviously going to be a very pro Saskatchewan crowd. Probably going to see a lot of people in green and white cheering on their boys here as we watch Quebec. Uh, coming up for their quiet moment of prayer. Uh, looking ahead to that game, Andre, you're at home. 
it's a huge moment for some of these guys, you know, their high school careers, playing in front of a home crowd with a national title on the line. What 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 does Andre Lalonde do to get rid of the butterflies? I mean, it's it's a very tough situation to be in. I mean, it's a high pressure thing, and uh, I was fortunate enough to be in that same situation. I was playing in the te with Team Sask here in Saskatoon uh, for the national championship, and we were fortunate enough to become come out with a victory in that game. And uh, I know that uh, Team Sask tonight is going to be. Uh, really amped up to go and uh, they're going to face a tough Ontario team that uh, beat Quebec earlier this week and so it's going to be a, a very fun game to watch in uh, front of a packed house and it's going to it's going to be a battle for that gold medal. If any of the players are, are, are watching what's uh, and I guess you've had a very good career and we should explain your career I keep referencing it obviously uh, where where did you start Andre I mean I know you best from your time with the Saskatoon Hilltops you won a couple of national titles uh, you were one of the last cuts of the Saskatchewan Rough Riders, and you'll be playing football this year at Griffith State in the U of S Huskies. But what got you started? What started Andre in football? Well, I mean, I've, I've got three older brothers, and so I mean, they were always playing football, and so I always, always wanted to play football. Obviously, you know, a Saskatchewan kid, you know, you're always watching the, the Rough Rider games, and then I played my high school career for the, the high school in Tisdale, mm -hmm. and then from there on, you know, did the senior bowl thing, and I uh, was fortunate to make Team Sask, and, uh, you know, the, the, that tournament was here as well, and I'm pretty sure that was the first time Saskatchewan had won gold at at the uh, U19s, and now now it's the U18s. But uh, from there on, uh, just a a great career with the with the Hilltops, uh, winning three national championships, and uh, now uh, hopefully uh, some more winning ways here with the Huskies this fall. Really looking forward to watching you play. You've always been a treat to watch play. As we watch now, the paramedics have arrived here as they are getting out the the backboard. Uh, as again to recap, left guard Vaso Cabrillo is down has been down for a while in what looks like it is a scary neck injury situation we really hope all the best here as we are in a temporary break here the football canada cups bronze medal game it is 19 to 16 838 left in this football game and, and we go back to my color commentator andre lalonde who's i mean i can barely talk in one language you're here doing it in two and you've been doing a great job here so far but so so you get signed by the riders territorial rights kind of deal here as you grew up playing in saskatoon and for the hilltops your first pro camp. What's the biggest difference, save in between this level here we're watching now and when you get to the pros? I mean, obviously the pro level, it's a, it's a big jump. But I mean, uh, this is an elite level here. And uh, going into camp, uh, things were a lot different than uh, playing junior football. I mean, obviously there are some similarities, but uh, you know, the players are much bigger, much faster. Uh, the the systems are much more complicated. But uh, it's the type of thing you got to deal with, and it's uh, well, it's it's your full time job, so you can dedicate yourself completely to it and. Uh, you know, unfortunately, it didn't work out for me, but I mean, I'm very excited to be uh, coming here to play for the Huskies and uh, in front of a huge crowds here. I've been to many Husky games and uh, it, I've had many chills throughout their games. Yeah. And, uh, and I'll be fortunate enough this fall to uh, run out of that tunnel and uh, play, put on the, the green for the, the U of S Huskies. As we watch now, as Cabrillo is down, the paramedics have arrived here and they're going to take over for the training staff, the highly skilled training staff here of, of staff and volunteers, but they're going to leave it to the paramedics to make sure he's out here, especially with a head or neck injury. One wrong move uh, can lead to disasters. Paramedics now, we are in a temporary break uh, as we continue getting to know our our color commentator, Andre Lalonde, bilingual color commentator. I, I still have no idea how the heck you, you managed to do that. Now, your favorite memory, of course, this was the Football Canada Cup when you played a U19 level of tournament. You won it here. It was at, at home. What, what do you best recall from the tournament here um i guess i guess you, you could say the fans but i mean i think it's it's the players you play with i mean uh it was one of the first times i got to play with uh players from all around saskatchewan uh players of you know you know great talent uh, players that i knew i was gonna gonna see in post-secondary football and so i was uh i was you know really excited to play with all, all those different players and we were uh, brought together for a couple weeks for the tournament and uh you know i I've played with or played against many of those players since, and uh, I mean, it was a, just a, a great opportunity to, to take that next step and play it against more elite talents, and uh, you know, is uh, ob obviously winning makes it all even more special. We are going to take a short break here and let the pictures do the talking. You are watching the Football Canada Cup bronze medal game, 19 to 16, Saskatchewan, or sorry, Quebec leads. I'm getting excited about the Saskatchewan game tonight. And left guard Vassal Cabrillo down. We'll be right back from the Football Canada Cup.
And we are back here at the Football Canada Cup from Griffith Stadium as you watch right now. There's a nice round of applause as Vaso Cabrillo is raised onto the stretcher. He went down with what is um, very obviously a neck injury. And we're really hoping that Cabrillo is okay as the paramedics have come out here and joined the training staff to make sure that he's well attended. And a very nice job here by the paramedics in Saskatoon to get the Sherbrooke native onto first the board and now onto the chair and as they take every precaution necessary and we wish from us, myself, John Fraser, Andre, my color commentator and everybody putting on this broadcast for you today, we wish them a speedy recovery and, and really hope that this is just all precautionary and hope that the young Mr. Cabrillo can have a speedy recovery. He gives a thumbs up to the crowd and that's met with applause from both sides there. And you see in the foreground his team running a few wind sprints as they try to get their legs going. And he is moving his hands, obviously, you see with the thumbs up. Saw him moving his legs. And you'd like to think this is just precautionary as you see a smile on his face off the field here. And now we turn our attention to football. Andre Lalonde, what is the toughest thing about getting back into this game after the stop? I mean, especially for someone on offense like Quebec is now. I mean, like, you know, you haven't touched the ball in 10 minutes. You haven't been doing anything. You saw them doing a few little uh, starts and stops here on the on the sidelines to try and get that get that heart rate going, get the, the blood flowing again. But uh, it's it's not the same as a game situation, and uh, it'll be interesting to see how the first few plays transpire. Quebec, now that we can turn our attention back to the football game, has it at the Alberta 53, first and 10, 1916. We lead, or Quebec leads, I should say. Quibiget now to Sam McWanda, and Sam McWanda with some positive yardage there on first down, and probably a good decision letting the legs get back into it with a couple of runs here as as we resume this football game. That's exactly it. You know, get, get it back to Mwamba, you know, one of your, your stars on offense, and just get things going again to get the offensive line moving and uh, try and get a first down. Second and three from the 45 yard line is Quebec. Zachary Quiviger in the shotgun. Another handoff to McWanda, but this time it's sniffed out in the backfield by Alberta. That's Dexter De Silva, the, the defensive lineman. Handoff again, number four. match. Après que numéro 60, Vasso Cabrillo a été emmené, c'est le joueur blessé. Et maintenant, Québec a, la, a le ballon. Et c'est le troisième essai maintenant. Ils sont sur le 45e Belge d'Alberta. Ils sont en, en formation pour battre le ballon. And now they are going to punt the ball here as JJ Molson will unleash into the wind. And Watch out, Quebec does have a player lining up on side to the right of Molson on the far side here. Is he's gonna let it go and it's a short punt and that's what they're going for. Quebec's running after it. It's bounced up in the air and a good job there by Miles Brown and some of the other special teamers as that was Quebec's number 12, Julian Laguenic, who was trying to uh, recover the onside kick. Yeah, Ke Quebec there is a smart play knowing that they're kicking into the wind. Had a man on side attempting to do something of what uh, Alberta did with uh, their quarterback Alex Basilis as he recovered his punt once. As you watch here, you can see Laguenic lined up to the right of Molson. Molson unleashing a short kick here, and that will be back. And so we go back to the action here, and it is Alberta to Brown. Brown's got first down yardage. He's up at the 50, nearly at the center stripe. And Brown with a first down here is Alberta taking the ball and using good field position after the attempted onside punt. Le porteur de ballon pour Alberta sur le jeu est Brown. Et après 17 verges, réussi un premier essai. Et c'est maintenant premier essai pour Alberta de la 51e verge. Alex Basilis now in the gun. Three receivers to his left. Two to his right from the right hash. This will be first and 10 from their 51 yard line. Ball tip and still recovered by Miles Brown, the athletic running back out of Notre Dame in Calgary with a big play there and a free ball. Heads up play there by the running back Brown. I mean, the ball got tipped and it was a free for all to get the ball, but Brown a heads up play and an athletic play to be able to catch up ball and get Looks some like yards on first down. Julian Melanson got his big mid on there and Brown a quick adjustment and a diving grab to turn a loss into a second and six. Basilis with the play action fake. He goes over to Pasjuk rather. Pasjuk is up and he'll be That's near the little. first down marker as we await the spot. A good job by Basilis by creating time for himself with the rollout. 
avec une réception par Pascal d'Alberta. Ils sont maintenant euh, sur leur troisième essai à la 50e verge de Québec. Ils ont seulement une verge à puis ils vont essayer de la to accomplish with Basilis. Third and, and one, and Alberta goes for it, and they've got it. As Alex Basilis plunges forward behind his offensive line, and that'll bring up a first down as Alberta now, with all the momentum, they've dominated the second half with all the wind at their back. They trail by three, but they're driving here. Yeah, Alberta coming back after the, that break, and uh, they've got things going again. They got the win, and uh, looking poised to score. Basilis now directly under center. You have to imagine a run is coming, but instead, this time it's the screen pass again to Clayton. And Clayton, he had a little bit of room, caught that one on the run, uh, and a good job there as you walk Quebec's number 20, uh, number two rather, Derek Ashmapong with the stop there and a nice screen pass to Sam Clayton. Clayton did a nice job getting positive yards on first down and uh, putting it into a second medium here as it's second and six for Alberta. So watch Clayton there make, make the move and run right into the tackle of Ashmapong as it's second and five for Alberta. The handoff to Brown, and he cuts it outside. Brown with another move. Brown with some daylight in front of him. Gets hauled down at the 28-yard line. A nice gain there, about 20 yards, and it will bring up a new set of downs. Alberta just putting the ball into their playmaker's hands as Brown has a nice run here on second down. Watch that move he made to bounce outside and then another juke up near that 35 yard line. And Alberta continuing to drive. Basilis to Brown and Brown is eaten up, but there is a flag on the play, a bit of a late flag as we await the result of that. The putter de, de, de ballon était Brown sur le, le jeu. Et uh, après, uh, réussir une très bonne. Uh, positive gain. Yeah. C'est le uh, premier essai du 29e yard yeah, belge. Unnecessary roughness. Face mask. Quebec, number 55. 15-yard penalty. Automatic first down. Quebec gives up another 15 yards. And that was one thing I asked their head coach about at halftime was some of their discipline. And that's something you can't be giving free yards here when already Alberta's got the momentum. They'll have first and 10 from the Quebec. 13 yard line they trail 19 16 but they've got the ball 454 left in our football game here bronze medal match football canada cup basilis out to janky janky will come down with it as as you know the tie goes to the receiver but a nice job there with a near interception by quebec's number nine enoch Bolonzo. Bolonzo, rather. alberta but now with the ballon the 11e Belge de Québec. And that was actually tipped, and a nice job there by Moanzo, nearly coming down with that interception as Brown just held on for dear life. Second and eight from the 11-yard line. The swing pass to Brown. He's got a man to beat, and he can't do it, as there is no Denver Corsal doesn't bite on the juke, and he takes down Brown, and down goes Brown, and it'll be a field goal situation here for Alberta to tie the football game as we get a good look here at Brown going to the outside and being brought down. He, if he makes that juke though, Andre, that's a, that's, that might be touchdown territory. Yeah, that was a great job by Corso in you know, an open field getting Brown down there. And, you know, a player like that in open field, I mean, nine times out of 10, he'll take that if you're Alberta, but it was a great job by Corso bringing him down. 18 yard attempt for Des Cotillier to tie the football game. Cotillier's got his leg on it. It is good, it's a tie game. 19, 19, four minutes left, the bronze medal game at the Football Canada Cup. The placement of Alberta is a success, and it's now 19 at 19, with four minutes to rest here in this match. Tie game here as Quebec, who had led at this at one point, 17 to nothing, now tied with Alberta, at 19 all. Quebec will take the ball from the left hash on the near side here of their 35 yard line. And they need to get some points here to snap this Alberta momentum. Quebec so far shut out in this half. The only points they've scored were off of Alberta conceded safety as Dez McGuanda, Sam McGuanda rather, is up to nearly the 40 yard line. That's gonna be a gain of a few on first down and bring up a second and long. Yeah, obviously kudos to the Alberta defense since that first quarter where Quebec got 17 points. They haven't surrendered any points as you know, like you just said, John, it was just from the safety. And so Quebec's offense is, uh, is it's been struggling for a bit then, but it's uh, 
uh, last few minutes here. Let's see if they can put some points on the board. Zachary Cuivage trying to lead his charges down the field. He's against the wind on a second and six. Cuivage, that pass broken up, but there's definitely going to be pass interference there as Francois Rochelot was brought down early by Bowen Lewis. And that one, uh, another one of those easy calls for our officials, Andre. Yeah, Bowen Lewis, Bowen Lewis was a... Uh, was uh, a couple steps early on that one. We can't say he was a half second early on that one. It was a pretty <laughs> obvious call for the refs to make, and uh, it'll be a, a first down here for Quebec, and uh, let's see if that can help them out. So we await the call here from head referee Mike Siona, but we have the signal that is going to be pass interference, and Quebec can have a first and 10 as they're going to be moved up to the spot of the foul. Pass interference, Alberta, Alberta number 35. 35. Nine yards, spot penalty, first down. We're going to get a look down here at Lewis. It's a nice pass from Cuivige as he's looking for Rochelot over the middle, and Lewis didn't even give him a chance to get the ball. You can see the official there going for the flag on the near side. Missed on the first attempt, but had it on the second, and it will be first and 10. Quebec at their 50. 19-19, just over three minutes left in the game as Zachary Cuivige makes some changes to the play here. Cuivage in the gun. Rochelot in motion. Cuivage now on the rollout. He's got a man open. That's Barassa. And Barassa's going to gain about five as he gets up to the midfield straight before he's stopped. Après une réception par Barassa, numéro 88 par Québec. Québec a le ballon maintenant. Par le, le centre du terrain. Et ça maintenant deuxième essai avec cinq verges à aller. Ici avec trois minutes qui restent dans notre match. Et c'est encore 19 à 19. From the midfield stripe, it'll be second and five for Quebec as they look to retake the lead. Play is whistled in here. Both teams working without a play clock due to a technical difficulty here at Griffith Stadium as Cuivage is back to pass. He's got a man open to his right. That's Rochelot, but Rochelot met almost instantly, and that Alberta defense is fired up after that play as Rochelot looked like he could have had a first down. Yeah, it was a nice catch by Rochelot, and the defender was right there and didn't give him the chance to get the first down. We'll see Quebec bringing out the punt team now. Quebec will punt this away to be Molson in the win as Rochelot there is quickly met by Alberta's number 28, that is Cody Ouijan, one of the more underrated members of that defensive secondary as he does a great job and he's quick and he brought the pain there and stopped Rochelot from big game. He's a five foot 10 defensive back from Calgary. And he's also in on this punt return team as with third and three, Quebec from nearly midfield is going to let one go. Molson's best punt of the day will back Rosen all the way up within his 20 yard line. And he won't even get past the 20. As now it'll be the field possession game is starting to swing in Quebec's favor, but Alberta's got the win. That's exactly it. It was a great punt by Molson against the win and uh, pinning Alberta deep now at their 20 yard line. With 2.30 left, we'll see if Alberta can uh, keep the keep things going and uh, take the lead for the first time today. Landon Rosen going back to his sidelines now as Alberta's going to take over from the left hash of their own 20-yard line. First and 10, it's a tie ball game. Vasily is under center. He hands off to Brown as he's been doing most of this half, and Brown is stopped. Looks like they're going to give him about a yard, and they needed some yardage here on first down, and they're not getting it right now as Alberta, as they've almost become too predictable, as again, Miles Brown is given the football. That's exactly it, John. It's, it's been pretty predictable on first down. It's going to Brown. I mean, obviously, it's a great strategy. He's a great football player, but uh, Quebec clapping things down here in the last couple of minutes. As we take a quick look there at Alberta's head coach, Brian Branford, as Basilius back to pass. He's got pressure. He's got a man open. Clayton, it goes through his hands. That one wasn't an overthrow, and Clayton pounds the ground in frustration as he knew that was pay dirt. That was a great opportunity for Alberta. It was a great throw by Vasilis. As we see here, Clayton just, oh, gets his fingertips on it, but couldn't quite haul it in. Clayton had the game slip through his hands up near the midfield stripe as he was likely gone. And now Alberta with the wind. They deferred to the second half to take the wind here on a blustery day at Griffith Stadium. Basilius will be back to punt. And he's gonna do so from about his 15. 
and it's a good kick. He uses the win to his advantage, and it goes back to Rochelot. He'll have to return into his 45. Rochelot makes a move. He's up to the midfield stripe, and Quebec's going to take over about the last place that they had the ball here. 19-19, just over 2.02 left in this football game. That was a great job by Rochelot catching the ball on the bounce. I mean, if, if that gets over his head, that changes the field position drastically, but he was able to, to catch that ball, get upfield, and now Quebec has good field position starting at the bit stripe. And a good job too there as you watch Rochelot field that on the bounces. He had one punt bounce over his head earlier and great speed there too. Really quick acceleration as Quivigé now back to pass. He swings it out to his right and that'll be caught up real quick by Peace to Shimbo Kambala. But it's Alberta that's on Kambala real quick and stops any kind of a significant gain. That, I'm actually, that is a loss of one. Yeah, another great job by the Alberta defense here. You know, since that first quarter, they've been lights out, holding, shutting Quebec out since then. Zachary Quivige sends his receivers in motion, and he's going to try the hard count again as he's been able to draw Alberta offside a couple times. He's changing the play at the line here. Both teams working without a play clock, so a bit risky as Quivige takes the snap, looking to pass. He's got a man open in the middle. Caught! That's Vincent Forbes Mamblo on the near side. And that'll be a first down for Quebec. 135 remains in a tie ball game for the bronze medal of the Football Canada Cup. Une belle réception par Forbes Mamblo. Mais le ballon sur la 43e verge de Alberta. Nice job there by Forbes Mamblo as he just dropped in that zone coverage and found a soft spot. As Quivige now, he's got five receivers in his back. He may go on a big hit there on Quivige, but he's got Rochelo on the near side. It's a big game. catch by Rochelle and what a job by QVJ standing in there taking the hit delivering the ball and what an amazing reception here by Rochelle. QVJ was hit hard as he threw but still able to get that up to Rochelle who had had some issues he'd had the dropsies if you will earlier in this half and he appears to have fixed his any issues he had with ball control as that is perhaps a very clutch catch here as we, we are tied at 19 with only 123 left in the bronze medal game at the Football Canada Cup as we take a good look at the 5 foot 10, 168 pound Francois Rochelot. We're going to take one more look at that clutch catch here as you watch Quivige drop back, get hit, deliver the pass, complete to Rochelot. Great job adjusting too for the over the shoulder grab. Okay. Très belle réception par numéro 6, Rochelot de Québec. Ils ont maintenant le ballon à la 13e Belge de Alberta avec 1 minute et 23 secondes et une très bonne chance à mettre du portage. First and 10 from the 13-yard line. Quebec, all they've scored since the first quarter has been a conceded safety by Alberta. They're knocking on the door right now as Quibi J leads his men to the line. He's got two receivers left, three to his right, and a first down from the left hash of the 13-yard line. Quibige in the gun, hands it off to McWanna. McWanna, though, is stopped near the point of attack, but it'll be about a four-yard gain on first down, and that brings Quebec even closer. It'll be second down at about six. Quebec getting back to the run game here as they hand it off to McWanna. Quivigier there with the handoff to McGuan. They've been running that option play, and a good job there by Alberta's defensive lineman. That was Temo Fouad to get in there and stop the dangerous McWanda, who was over 100 yards alone in the first half, but has been a lot quieter in this second half here, as it'll be second and seven. They're gonna mark it a three-yard gain. Score still tied, 19-19. There are 78 seconds left in the football game. Alberta, if they can hold Quebec to a field goal here, they have the wind, and they've got, honestly, most of the momentum until this drive by Quebec. That's exactly it, John. I mean, uh, Quebec, obviously, they, they, they're hungry for that touchdown, but I mean, right now, they'd be happy with anything, as you know, as far as, far as Alberta's concerned. I mean, with, uh, with over a minute left here, they're gonna get they're gonna get the ball back with plenty of time, and so whatever, the, whatever Quebec gets on the board here, you know, assuming they get on the board, Alberta will have plenty of time, and uh, you know, we'll see how they respond. Oui, VJ. A five receiver set, Sam McWanda to his right. Second and seven from the 10 yard line of Alberta. Tie football game here. There's the handoff to McWanda. He's almost.
almost sprung loose. And a great job there, again, by the Alberta defense to limit the gains of McGuana here in the second half. Looked like that was a linebacker, Jonathan Leggett from Okotoks with the stop here. As we take a second look at McWanda with the gain, which unfortunately for Quebec, just a little bit too short. And this will bring up third down. It's a great job by Leggett and Boychuk on the play, wrapping up McWanda just short of the first down and forcing Quebec into a, a probable field goal situation. Quebec will have third and three from the six yard line. But in this situation, Andre Lalonde, you go for the kick. It's a tie ball game. You got to put points on the board here. That's exactly. I mean, it, you can't be risking anything at this point of the game. Your offense is struggling, and uh, you just got to trust your defense. Get the three points, and uh, you got. There'll be about one minute left when Alberta gets the ball, and you just got to trust your defense to to hold them. They will be kicking into the wind, but it's not a lengthy field goal for Molson, who's done a great job on field goals this entire tournament. Which of course, started last Sunday here in Saskatoon as we take a look at Alberta's head coach there, Brian Branford. Do you think Branford's calling for the field goal block here? I think that, that's, that's the obvious call in this situation. I mean, it's a, it's tough, especially on this, these short field goals because the ball's going to go straight up, but uh, you know they're going to be coming off that edge. Olsen now lines up for a 13-yard field goal to take the lead with a minute 13 left of the Football Canada Cup. Balls down, Molson is good from 13 yards as Alberta did everything they could to try to get there, but this game is gonna be put in the hands of Alex Basilis after the field goal by Molson. A player plus man par Quebec, il y a maintenant il quand même 22 à 19, avec 1 minute et 10 secondes qui reste. Alberta va voir le ballon, et on va voir s'il est capable de répondre après ce placement par Quebec. Molson with his right foot makes it 22 to 19, and as a lot of these players at this level do, he's out there to play defense now as Alex Basilis is gonna have his chance to be a hero. 1-10 remains. Alberta down a field goal from their own 35-yard line. Basilis back to pass. He's got a completion on the near side. That's the Ben Pasjuk. And again, Basilis now going hurry up as Alberta has to at least get in a field goal range. It'll be a second down and short about second and two as Basilis here will work out of the gun as Alberta will run that hurry up offense, something they did very effectively against Saskatchewan in the near comeback. Basilis now in the gun, sends all his receivers out, looking for a target, got one deep, and he just overthrows Justin Dasuk, and we do see a flag on the play. Quebec obviously not happy, but we are gonna see a pass interference call here on the near side as we await the official announcement. Looks like that'll go against number nine, Enoch Makanzo. Bassless with a long attempt on the play, but uh, it was it was a close call on the receiver and the defender, but uh, officials thought it was interference. Pass interference, Quebec, number nine, 15 yards, automatic first step. Alberta also out of timeouts too. So we're gonna take a second look here at the pass interference call that just gave Alberta second life and that one was a close one, not, not one of the more obvious ones. A tough call here for our officiating crew, especially in such a close ball game. Quebec leads 22-19, 56 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Basilis back to pass. Here comes the heat, and he is brought down well behind the line as Quebec brought the house and gets a key sack at a key time. That's a huge play by the Quebec defense. They were coming all the way on that play, and Bassas had no choice but to hold on that ball and swallow that sack. We're gonna watch the replay here. You got about three different Quebec defensive linemen. They all clear the edge. They send everybody in, and that brought Bassas down. It's second and 24. Bassas going deep. Nobody open. Intercepted by John Molson, and Quebec will get the ball back with the lead. A huge interception there by Quebec, and Alberta's comeback attempt looks like it might be coming up short here today. John Molson with the interception. Basilis was looking deep. He had a man open for a second, but it's John Molson that comes up with the pick after the field goal that put them up three. Molson with the interception that may have sealed it. Molson, an impressive athlete after kicking the field, comes back with another huge play with the success with the interception on the play, and now and it appears as though Quebec will be kneeling this game out.
And there's the snap. There's the first knee by Quebec. And the clock starts back up. As I was momentarily distracted, nice call on the play-by-play -play there. Andreas Quebec is going to be able to kneel this out here. 22-19, Alberta out of timeouts, having to use them both due to some confusion. And John Molson, kid with a couple big field goals, and then even bigger as a defensive back as he comes up with the interception that seals it. Quebec will win the bronze medal at the Football Canada Cup. It may not be the medal they came here to get for a fourth consecutive time, but they will go home all the way across the country to Quebec, and a great job in this game here, coming up clutch when they needed to, as we take a look at Molson there on the sidelines. He's receiving congratulations from his team, and it is over. Quebec wins bronze at the Football Canada Cup. Final score, 22 Quebec, 19 for Alberta. As Quebec now onto the field to celebrate, and as you'll see in your picture in a moment, we're going to see the next team on for the gold medal game as they come on getting ready for the big gold medal matchup. But we do see Team Quebec as they get a chance to celebrate here. Après une belle interception par John Molson, l'équipe de Québec est capable de gagner la médaille de uh, bronze et gagne 21 à 19. And now we just await. We've sent our man down to the sidelines to we're going to try to catch up with John Molson here. A couple field goals today and a great performance at defensive back, including the game clinching interception. Coming up, the gold medal game. Sass Green, the elite Saskatchewan program, takes on the team from my home province in Ontario. That is coming up here, 7 o'clock Central, 9 o'clock Eastern. So it's going to be coming up here right away. I don't know if we're even going to get a break in between games here, Andre. Yeah, after that uh, unfortunate but long break with uh, the injury, uh, you know, this game's going to be coming up pretty quick. And uh, you know, it was a long game, but uh, Quebec, Quebec, you know, faced a lot of adversity, but they pulled through with a, with a nice 22 to 19 victory. The two teams are lining up as we await the announcement of the game's offensive and defensive MVPs. As now the dignitaries from Football Canada and our organizing committee here in Saskatoon make their way down. You can see in the background to the right-hand side of your screen that is Ontario, as uh, these teams have the ability here because of the facilities in Saskatoon, they warm up in an adjacent grass field. So it's not like they're being caused any kind of injury as, again, our final score here, 22-19. No surprise here, Andre Lalonde, the game star offensively for Alberta, Miles Brown. Yeah, Miles Brown had a great day today. Uh, I'm not sure how many touches he had, but he was he was getting the ball roughly every hey, second play for Alberta and uh, had a great day. Unfortunately, uh, wasn't able to lead his team to a victory, but uh, he's got to be very proud of his effort today. And the defensive player of the game for Alberta is number 44 linebacker Brandon Dubell. Alberta's defense did a tremendous job throughout the game. After a slow start in Quebec, jumping out to that 17 point lead, Alberta clapped down to the very end of the game where Quebec managed to get that field goal. Sam McWanda, the offensive game star for Quebec. That is a, not a surprise at all. McWanda had a great day all day. I mean, you know, especially to get off to that 17-point lead, he had a nice 20-yard touchdown run, and uh, it, was, it was this win came with uh, great efforts on the ground by McWanda. And no surprise, Jeremy Dominic, who had an interception in this game, is the defensive game star for the bronze medal champions from Quebec. We're going to take a real short break here before we reset and get ready for our gold medal game. For Andre Lavand, I'm John Fraser. We'll see you back here in 10 minutes. This is the Football Canada Cup, footballcanada.ca.
Yeah. <laughs> Too soon? She obviously doesn't know what's going on. Yeah. 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 Ye